Take a sip, bitches. This is a fucking Catalina wine mixer. here can you guys hear me okay okay first of all um welcome in everybody hold on give me a second 
Gagadu, welcome in Gagadu, Gunfighter, Rogue, Rogue, how are you guys doing? How about Tiny Titties, we got Persistent Valor in here. How's, it's fine, it's fine, just leave it, leave the scene. Um, how is everybody doing? Happy Friday. Anybody excited for the weekend? Um, oh, hold on, I hate when it, why does it do this? Okay. Um, mommy, sorry, I guess, I don't even, I don't even know what that means. Um, <laughs> um, I was gonna say, I was gonna say something and I forgot. I'm a for okay, I forgot. Um, okay, so for all of you, oh, hold on. Um, okay, no, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so for all of you that are new here for the interview, um, you guys can ask questions as well. Um, please make sure to highlight it. If I don't get to it right away, um, please don't be afraid to rewrite it again after maybe like five, ten minutes. Or sometimes if it's already related to a topic that I'm going to talk about later on in the um, interview, um, I usually wait off and hold on it and I try to remember the question as much as I can. Um, thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, it's Saturday for you, Tiny Titties. I hope you're having a good weekend. Um, I'm super excited about the interview. We are having Humble. Super excited um i'm trying to think what else was i gonna say um but yes yeah, so please make sure to be patient with the questions also i will be drinking um it's only gonna be me drinking today guys um which is fine and shots as well uh also i'm trying to think of announcements really quick uh announcements um i'm trying to think and i can't oh um so two weeks in two weeks on wednesday the 22nd um i would like to do a community activity on that day especially because the next day is going to be thanksgiving and black friday which i'm going to be taking those two days off and plus the rest of the weekend but i'd love to do a community activity before the holiday so i'd love to do that on wednesday um if anybody's interested just go into the server and go to events and all you have to do is put a reaction of a red heart to let me know that you're going to participate that day and we're going to do it at 8 p.m cst like we always do on the stream um thank you for the compliment gunfighter oh uh, try to think what i know horses six were like huge sure. i'm gonna oh, the 18 this. inches not huge oh that's big i didn't know um Hold on, sorry. Sorry, I'm just getting back to somebody. Um, welcome in. How are you? How how is your day going? I know. Um, I know the weather isn't as bad. I hope you're feeling better, though. Are you feeling better? I'm trying to think. What else? Uh. Persistent, thank you for the look or the lurk. I was gonna say look. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. I'm still a little sick, but I'm here. Oh dang. Hopefully by that weekend or by like the end of the weekend, you'll start to feel a little better. Um are you perfect. Ah, oh, thank you, persistent. I really appreciate that a lot. Uh, I'm trying to think what else, guys. Uh, because we only got about a minute left. I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Um oh. So Persistent will be streaming around 11 o'clock, uh, which 11 o'clock p.m. CST for me. I can't remember. Yeah, pre yeah, your CST as well. Um, and at midnight, it's actually Persistent's birthday. So please don't be afraid to tell him happy birthday. Um, and because I know it's not your birthday right now, but not until like four hours. Uh, here you go. Here you go, Persistent. <laughs> uh, but yeah so don't be afraid to go over and check out persistent stream and wish him a happy birthday or just tap in and say hi um it's gonna be a good time i know he's really excited so um i'm trying to think what else i think i think that's it for announcements hold on i'm just waiting um hold on okay they're ready so let me 
Let me get my stuff on. I don't like how it, I don't like how it flattens it, but that's okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, can you hear me? All right. I think I go. Uh. Oh, hold on one second. Oh shit! Nobody look at that. Uh. Yeah. I. Can you hear me? Yeah, I go hear you. Okay. Perfect. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to make my camera work. Oh my gosh, I'm upside down. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, okay. Tiny titties are not supposed to look at it. <laughs> oh, you're so your camera might not work because you're streaming. I know. I know. It's like um, I'm able to disconnect my camera from OBS. So I'm trying to make it somehow work. Yeah, because I know other people will stream and use their... Yeah, um, I, I'm able to make it work right now, but now I need to fix the camera. But before oh, okay. I show the camera, I want to fix it because you guys going to be like, what the hell? He's in the middle of fix it. Okay. And take the time you need. Don't worry. I have technical issues all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Let me see. Oh no, he's got it, Rogue. He just has to. Um, he's just fixing it right now because it's upside down. It's because I have two cameras, so the one that I wanted it to work, it wasn't working. So I switched to my secondary one, which it's already working. I'm just adjusting it so it doesn't look like cricket. Okay. Welcome in, Top Flight. How are you? Happy Friday or Saturday? I don't know what time zone you're in. <laughs> Thank you, Rogue. For helping though or trying to help, I appreciate it. Okay. Then let me see. Yeah, I got you persistent. Thank you for letting me know. Sorry that you got reported. Especially since it just came out, that kind of sucks. But you guys, here's the first sip of two tonight. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to mess with it. <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I want to see Chapo. You want to see Chapo? Okay. <laughs> well, look at okay, you. Okay, you can see me, right? I yeah, know. I can see okay. you. Wow. I know. I was just. Look at I need to dress up really nice, so. <laughs> you uh... did dress up really nice. Um, okay. Okay. Well, Your camera's yeah loading a bit. Oh no, it's okay. You um. Oh wait, yeah, you do need to see me, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh shoot. Uh, you don't. Okay. I've never done this before. Hold on, real quick. Um. Let me connect my charger on my phone so I'll go have your stream up. You're going to be able to see me, to be honest. Uh, okay, how do you do that, Miss Gunfighter? How do you turn that on? Mm -hmm.
Okay, hold on. I'm going to mute myself. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Hold on. You guys are going to go to the BRB page because I'm going to fix something. Or not fix it, but get it done. Um, and I'm following instructions, so be right back. Hold on. Um, I'll, I'll be back. Uh, okay. Yeah, let me just go fix this. Okay, humble. I think I have uh, to exit. Yeah. I have to exit out and restart uh, Discord. Oh, it's okay. So, just so take time. Just call me when you're ready. Okay, okay. I'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Shut the fuck up. I'm fucking drink it like a man. There's no echo though. Is there an echo? Oh, what did I do? This isn't right. This isn't right, is it? No, this is right. I think. Is this right? Like three times. I know. That's why I'm like, I don't know. Oh, hold on, I'll wait for Humble to put on his camera and see what happens if it changes. There we go. <laughs> um, okay. One second, let me get this up and ready. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So everybody, please give a warm welcome. Welcome. Oh, 
Oh, are you talking to me? Hold on. Hold on, I can't hear you, Humble. Can you guys hear Humble? Oh, I go. <laughs> there we I had go. It, I had it. There we go. Okay, I hear you choppy. So should I just listen to you on the stream uh, and just mute the Discord? I don't know. Well, I have a delay, so I don't know. Mm. Um. Yes. Okay. Gunfighter said, "Yeah, let's do that." Okay. Hold on. Uh, um. Here's tiny. I hope there's not a delay. Okay, let me just... Oh, you know what? But mm -hmm. you're going to be able to hear yourself. Well, my stream, I think it's going to be... Let me see. Mm. If you want... Oh, fuck it. We just go like that. It's, it's, are, you, are you sure? Okay. Welcome back to the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me, um, are you ready, Humble? Yes. Okay. There's a delay, okay. so yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll, try, I'll try to wait. Um, everybody, please give a warm welcome to a very talented individual, the Humble. <laughs> um, so, Humble, to start off this interview, uh, what did you do before streaming? Okay, what I did before streaming... I started playing GTA 5 with my oh. brother, and it was at first fun, mm -hmm. but we started somehow getting like competitive with because there's a lot of streamers, YouTubers. So I started getting into YouTube in the same time, creating my own YouTube <laughs> crew, aka going against other YouTubers with 90k mm -hmm. subs. So oh, wow. skipping through all that, I reached 900 subs. And then I stopped doing YouTube. <laughs> I used to do <sighs> cinematics, trailers. Um, I will do tra um, cinematics for other YouTubers. And then from there, it just started evolving into getting a PC. Yeah. Wow. Um, if you don't mind me asking, why did you stop? Especially when you had 900 subscribers. Um, I stopped because the community was so toxic that it was just like you know how in rap people this mm -hmm. but in my videos i was uploading r.i.p this crew or and i would start writing people's gamer tags back and everyone did it in the community mm -hmm. so i went through i didn't i like that my community was supportive mm -hmm. but it was toxic so I was like, you know what? I'm done with this toxicness. Plus, yeah. everyone quit doing YouTube on GTA because Fortnite came out. When Fortnite oh. came out, all GTA content creators just stopped. So I also stopped, and then I left back my YouTube, and yeah. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> so um, there's been a few times on the interviews that I've done with um, a few other people. We've talked about toxic communities. And I know, so after that, it was, is it difficult for you to join another community? Like, are you kind of like, oh, I don't know, because I don't want to have to, like, you don't want to have to go through that, like, toxic time um, again? Well, it was not really difficult, because in that environment with GTA, even mm -hmm. if they saw a picture of you, that was like uh -huh. RP exposed or DMs. Uh -huh. So everything about youtube no one knew how i look no one knew mm -hmm. nothing and you oh. will get ddos people will find your address oh my people god send it, it was really toxic to the point that even people bank accounts were getting like hacked Whoa. so in the midst of all that um i was thinking if i do want to do later on do something else i don't want to bring all that because i have people even after quitting youtube i still have people dming me in my comp in my youtube like this yeah. 1v1 and it was just it was toxic so it was not hard for me because i made i had 100 people in my crew so i was a leader i was training people with money and giving them money in the game weapons in gta i was telling them wow. you guys cannot get exposed because i don't want my name be uploaded as a crew but 
but after that i started playing rainbow and less gta more rainbow from rainbow we started playing overwatch from overwatch battlefield and then yeah wow so it's crazy yeah the community was really toxic <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i know with when streaming um people kind of because you know how there's different platforms to stream on and so i'm very curious that since you stream on twitch and then you had streamed on youtube what if let's say somebody is wanting to start streaming like they're just starting what would you recommend for them first to try out or which one would you say is even the hardest platform to do i think the hardest platform well it depends because Twitch is also toxic, like GTA, with the people involved. So when I started streaming, um, I think the biggest thing is because the viewers mm -hmm. will discourage someone not to keep streaming. So my advice will be do not worry about the viewers. Doesn't matter what game you play. Doesn't even matter. And not only that, if you're doing cam or without cam, just be comfortable, become yourself. Do not become yeah. someone else, oh, yeah. you know, on stream and then you're hiding your full actual self because then you're not being genuine. And then mm -hmm. I know that viewers love genuine people and yes. they watch the development of someone's career because it's technically like a career. You're streaming. They're oh, seeing yeah. every piece of your life. Yeah. So I will just advise do not look into the viewers. Be yourself. Do not get nervous and just take it easy step by step even if it's seven hours three hours you will get there so yeah yeah <laughs> um no that's actually that's really great advice um so with youtube and and i know you stream a little bit and you stream on twitch so how long would you say you've been streaming for um i started streaming so far eight months so within the first second month I hit all my affiliated um, mm -hmm. stuff that I need to do, but I didn't want to get affiliated, but I hit all the markers. I was doing 10 hour streams. Um, I was playing Dead by Daylight. I was doing mm -hmm. so many stuff. So the same thing with YouTube, but I, oh. what I learned from that, I transfer it for Twitch. So yeah, okay. that's what I did. Okay. So your name, um, your username, I watch, I find unique. And now I'm very curious, how, how did you come up? Like, what's the story behind your username? Um, it's funny because everyone knew me on GTA Never Dead. And it's almost like a slang term as you cannot kill me. Meaning oh. on GTA, you will be on the lobbies and you could, you're able to kill yourself without people killing you. So if we're going with sniping, Right, I would just throw mm -hmm. a sticky bomb and kill myself. That's why the name came from Never Dead. And oh, okay. all the years building up to 900, and I was going against, like I said, 90,000 subscriber YouTubers uploading mm -hmm. them the same way as they will upload other ones. I will upload them. And from Never Dead, that's where it came from. Now, from Humble, because mm -hmm. I was doing that, I was. I did not want to bring nothing from that community or the mm -hmm. username. Plus, I don't want no one to know I'm going to Twitch because it was really that oh. toxic. So okay. I call myself humble because I don't want to be that toxic person, you know, because yeah. I will be like, even though it sounds childish, but I will stay up seven in the morning. It's 30 people in the lobby. I will go bunch of YouTubers to seven in the morning at it mm -hmm. nonstop. You know, and they're saving clips. I'm saving clips. I'm not willing to pussy out or give up. Yeah. And it was just that harsh environment. So, yeah. Um, so I'm very curious. Has anybody found you since you've been streaming on Twitch? <laughs> no. That's good. No. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, Humble, how would you describe your content to people that haven't seen it? My content or myself mm -hmm. personally um uh, you could um, i think both. my viewers Gavin? oh no i was gonna say you could do i both. found him <laughs> gutty. gutty said i found him i exposed him though 
Uh, well, a lot of people that know me, maybe not in the personal level, but mm -hmm. just coming to my streams, the main thing they know is that I have respect for other people and for myself. I don't carry mm -hmm. myself with just bashing people or humor or making yeah. fun of people because I learned in even in GTA when I was running a crew, there's a lot of people fighting, girls and guys, people in oh, their thirties, forties, twenties. So mm -hmm. I knew that people were not able to control their humor and people get in their feelings. Because we mm -hmm. all of us have our own life. We go through our own emotions. And let's say today we call in each other names and then one day I call you something, then something you don't take it lightly. So I wanted to bring that in my community, in my streams, and respect people. I could joke, but I would not joke about nothing about you. Just in general, yeah. I would use something else. So we both laugh. So I think mm -hmm. people will see respect in my streams, vibes, mm -hmm. uh, always humor. I'll, I'll be always smiling, laughing, <laughs> cracking up people, <laughs> playing different variety stuff. So yeah. Oh, that's really good. I like that um, Like you came out of that toxic community and you were like, nah, fuck this. I'm starting over. I want to continue what I'm doing, but I'm going to do it like the way I want and it's not going to be toxic. <laughs> so it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so how would you say has your content changed since you've started? Um... One of the areas it changed, I used to listen to drill music on, well, my videos, I used to put drill music, murder music, mm -hmm. just anything that will incorporate that type of environment. And it was really toxic. But now on stream, I'll be playing vibe music, chill music, none of that cussing mm -hmm. or murder music, um, especially the music that they be dissing dead people. I used to play oh. that a lot. So. I really did like a 180, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't want to promote any of that. I want to bring more positivity. So that's why yeah. I started doing gym streams to motivate even the men and the women that no matter your past, your mm -hmm. environment, even in your household, nothing could stop you. You definitely could work out. And even art. That's why I started doing art as well. Mm -hmm. Inspire different people and gaming. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna say right now we will get to your art. I'm gonna have like a whole topic conversation with you, so I <laughs> okay. hope you're ready. But um, but we're yeah. not there yet. But something I do want to ask you. So when I met you, you have shown me a couple scary games, which I actually have. I think I have one downloaded. Um, and I want to know why are you into scary games? Like, cause you actually like you enjoy them. I don't think you get scared, right? Like, you actually enjoy them. Yeah, I only started doing scary games because pe I don't, I'm not necessarily scared of myself. Like, I will walk in my room, pitch black, even to the restroom or to the kitchen. No lights, nothing. Um, so I'm not really afraid of stuff. Not that I'm yeah. not acting, I don't have emotions. But yeah. I only started playing because I want to scare my viewers, you know? Oh, so, okay. <laughs> so I get a kick out of it when people come in my streams and they're like, yeah. oh, like, how, like they're getting so That's so that's funny. That's why I started doing uh, scary games. That's so funny. That's so funny. Because, like, we're literally the complete opposite. You're doing it to scare um, your viewers and and. Then I do it because they just in, um, the community just enjoys me getting scared. <laughs> so that's funny. Um, so I was going to say, speaking, so, you know, still into the topic of streaming, um, is there any goal, like any goals you're wanting to achieve with streaming? Or would you say this is kind of more like a hobby? Um, at first, well, at first it was just a hobby. I mm. wanted to give it a try. But now, being so involved with it, I have like four goals. The first yeah. one is to build traffic or meeting a lot of big streamers, small streamers, and mm -hmm. having all of them to follow one another. You know? Yeah. And I was 
I don't want to get affiliated. So my main goal is to uh, everyone that follows me, send uh-huh. them with other amazing people that I know that okay. they will not do them wrong. And I think just start selling my art. I think that's where I'm at right now. I want to sell my art and make art for people. And I think that would be amazing. So that's what I'm in it for. And meeting people. I love socializing, talking about deep topics or uh-huh. be there for people. So, yeah. I love that. So if you don't mind me asking, why not get affiliate and still continue to doing that? Or is it just kind of like, if uh, I get it, I get it. And I, I don't care, you know? I think the the affiliated is because Twitch takes a big amount of money, you mm-hmm. know, from the earners. Even if you give people ads, you just get a cup um cup of cents. Mm-hmm. So I'm not opposing people who are affiliated. I just feel that we are the ones that are putting so much energy. Not only that, entertaining the chat, you know. Yeah. Um, even if we have bad days we're still streaming multiple hours so i think what many people like is that there's emotes there are that notifications also on donated which is amazing i feel like personally myself if someone sends me 100 or 50 or 20 Mm -hmm. i want them to know that it's all coming towards me so i will definitely do something else to get other ways of money without twitch but that's the only reason, technically, Twitch okay. be taking away too much money. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can see that. So I would say, so what you're saying is, and this is this was going to be my next question is, what would you say are the pros and cons when it comes to streaming? And, but, I don't know. And I, and I would like to speak on all platforms. So, you know, like YouTube, um, Twitch. I know you can stream on TikTok. Twitter now or X as they call it. Yeah. Um, I think the pros is that you meet mm. amazing people. Not only that, you're given multiple sources of promoting uh-huh. yourself. Mm-hmm. And not only that, sponsors. You know, even though it will cost you the income of your chat, mm. but you do expand if you yeah. have social media. Oh, yeah. And I will say for the cons is you can meet people that are willing to even ban you or flag your whole Twitch, mm-hmm. even something that you may not done, or they will talk to their manager or they will talk to someone, you know, and I think that will hurt more mm-hmm. your character or your career in Twitch. If you have those type of toxic people that you didn't even know they were going to turn on you. So mm-hmm. I think the cons are that that some people don't recover from that, or you mm-hmm. would need to start this. Mm, I would say make a whole different because you know how people will split, especially yeah. in the chat. If you have, let's say, if me and you get into a fight, and mm-hmm. both viewers, subscribers, whether I'm not even affiliated, either they will stop following you or me. So it's either what well, someone is gonna get it. So I think that's the cons, mostly. Yeah. Yeah, I could definitely, I could see that. I could definitely see that. Um, I would, yeah, I would say that. <laughs> so I was <laughs> yeah. going to say, so speaking, because I know there's something that's major. You, you talk about toxic. So I was going to say, what is the craziest thing you've seen? Not necessarily on YouTube, but on Twitch. Hmm. I had one person that was because, okay, so I might dive into it. I don't care. I'm going to keep him anonymous um, because I did move on from it. So me leaving a toxic environment, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, I know my wrongs and rights. So I'm when I started doing Dead by Daylight, because I'm really good at it, and I like to yell, scream, (laughs) um, this other streamer met me right in the game he was a killer i was a survivor Mm -hmm. and i had ttv on my username so he noticed that i was super good in the game so he gave me a follow i was like oh that's cool like because that's how i used to do on on youtube i would make this youtubers and we would just collab 
And for me, it's like, okay, even though when I collabing, I'm making at least some friends in this community and getting a taste of how it functions. Because I was like, okay, how do people get those type of people that raid you and have that yeah. type of friendship mm -hmm. without people, even though I would join people's streams, I would say no self-promoting. So I was like, okay, so am I supposed to stay months just demonstrating that I'm not here just to get your views, but make that yeah. connection. But with this guy, one bad thing that only him so far, um, I will be on his streams 24 seven. His community mm -hmm. loved me. I was always supportive. Yeah. I met his um, streamers friends. And what happened one day is that I wanted to switch from games. So I started playing Overwatch. He started mm -hmm. coming to my stream with no viewers. He would tell me because I used to get 20 viewers, 30 viewers on mm -hmm. day by day like and he will tell me why you he told me this why are you streaming a game that no one is watching you to play why don't you keep streaming dead by daylight and in my eyes i come from respect even if yeah. i wasn't that toxic whoever was whoever was my family i call it my family my circle we always had this respect thing you don't disrespect yeah. people you don't belittle people I will not, that's why I will get into it with YouTubers. I will just expose them because I don't let people disrespect. So mm -hmm. when he told me that, I'm like, come, even though I'm a small streamer compared to him. But in my eyes, I'm like, what made you so comfortable to come to another streamer platform, right? Tell me that how I should play, how yeah. I should stream. And you've been disrespectful telling me that there's, I look stupid streaming with no viewers. You know, mm -hmm. so I didn't want to please the people. I want people to accept who I am as a person. So respectfully, I texted him and I told him that I don't take that type of disrespect. You know, I'm not going to yeah. cut you out. I'm not going to um, gossip, but I'm going to tell you man to man. And he didn't even reply. So I unfollow him. I didn't tell no one what happened. I just dissociate myself with him. So, mm -hmm. and he was older than me, so it was crazy. So I think that was like one of the toxic stuff. Oh, wow. So yeah, yeah, it was uh, crazy. I was gonna say, um, I feel like that's, it's a, it's hard at first being a new streamer. Um, or even sometimes you could be a streamer like five years from now, but you'll always have people coming in and they're always gonna try to tell you, you should do this, you should have that. You, you, need, yeah. you need to have this. And it's like, you know, it's like you can't really go into somebody's stream and tell them what to do. Like, it's not your stream, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I do feel like I feel like people that stream really do need to be careful of that, because because even for me, like I actually will start. Sometimes I used to like listen to those people because I'd be like, oh, OK, mm -hmm. I need to have this because they say this will be better. But then. Um, I actually had some people come out to me and they're like, no, stop. What is, is this, oh, is wow. this their, <laughs> they're like, is this their stream? Like, like, yeah. is that even, you know? And I was like, you know what? Yeah. Like, no, nah, I'm gonna make this my own and I'm going to have fun with it. So, and if some people come in and they don't like, like it, then, then you know what I mean? It's kind of like, okay, then we'll buy, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, I think it's I think more the intention behind mm -hmm their words when you catch yeah. their attention they're being malicious about it yeah that's mm -hmm. when you're like okay yeah it's kind of it's honestly it's in a way sometimes you have to be careful because it's sometimes it, it's almost like you have a fake friend when they tell you oh yeah that shirt looks really good on you you look really good but like they yeah. know it, you look bad and <laughs> like so <laughs> that's what it reminds me of like um no so so, Humble, what is something that you would do different if you could start completely over with streaming with the knowledge you have now? Um, okay, so there's two things. When I started mm -hmm. streaming with a webcam, the first thing I would change is because I was super close to the camera and I look oh. crazy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I did not notice that so when people clipped me, uh, my camera was super close. And yeah. now I have it like really good. How I have it set up when I stream, it's not crazy. I'm far yeah. away from a monitor. I will change that because that was a big issue. 
second thing I would have changed with the knowledge that I have is buy good cameras. If I might be streaming with cameras, good quality, mm -hmm. not just start with the bad ones because it does changes the dynamic of the stream. And not being nervous. I was really nervous. I was like so worried about how I look in the camera instead yeah. of the chat or be myself. So I will, if I started all over, I would have just relax and just be myself, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, one of the advice that I always give to people, especially if they're new streamers or they're about to start streaming, um, definitely do your research on streaming, yeah. on the equipment that you need, like, like headphones, the camera, the, the lighting, you have to make sure you have like decent lighting, um, it, it's a lot it's a lot because then you have to also look into like stream labs stream elements or you know like e like everything <laughs> so yeah it can definitely be um um okay oh gunfighter can you please repeat your question again and i'll ask it right now um but this is a question from chat uh how how has overwatch been um to be honest or persistent is Overwatch has been amazing. I think mm -hmm. me stepping, like I said previously, that a guy was shitting on me because I was not playing the game that he wanted me. Yeah. Um, so I'm happy, to be honest, and I get so like smiley the fact that so many people do watch me. I think I had like 29 people watch me. And mm -hmm. For me to sit back and be like wow like even though this guy was picturing um shit i shouldn't stream yeah. overwatch and the fact that i just ran with it without even caring about the viewers yeah and i think that's what has been amazing i don't care about the gameplay too much you will lose games win yeah. games. but <laughs> i think just that it. alone is just amazing yeah <laughs> Yeah, that no. I'm with you. Um, this is from okay. This is from Gunfighter. What would you say to Chapo if you could talk to him for one minute? Mm, I will hug him and tell him that he is loved. And oh he's my! Not <laughs> <laughs> and he will get hugs every single time that I oh scream. My. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, bro! No, but I love I love Chapo. To be honest, um. I think every time I come in your community and people do hash, I never seen that with an app. I've never <laughs> seen people do hashtag chat. So for me, it's like a different environment of chemistry mm. that I love being a part of. So yeah, so I will definitely do that for Chapo and tell him that if he could talk to me. But yeah, that was very sweet. Everybody, everybody thinks you know everybody likes Chapo better. I think. Um. Okay, oh, this is from Persistent. Um, what is your favorite game? My favorite game? Mm -hmm. I have so many. Um, at first, I like Dead by Daylight because I'm naturally good at it. Um, I think right now, I would say Overwatch. Okay. Like my main game that I love, Overwatch. I'm really good mm -hmm. at it. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've never played Overwatch. What what is what is it like? Is it kind of like Call of Duty? Uh, no, Call of Duty. You could get away from going solo or doing your own stuff. Overwatch uh -huh. is more of a team dynamic, so you cannot push by yourself. Now, if they're if they suck, then and they don't have no self awareness, you could get away with it. So. Mm -hmm on overwatch it's like football you have the tank he's mm -hmm. in the front he's the one that needs to protect everyone and he has okay. the most health and he has shields and then behind him he has two dps's there are assaults and they're okay. supposed to protect the tank just like a football you hold the ball uh -huh. that's the tank you know and then the rest of the team they need to make sure no one tackles the, the receiver and then okay. the healers obviously just keeps everyone healed. So that's technically what is Overwatch. You watch each other's back, 
you try your best to heal and communicating and combining ultimates. There's like ultimates in each character. So yeah. Okay. So it's That's really competitive cool. in a way. I could see yeah. that. I could see that. Um okay. Uh if nobody has any more streaming questions, please let me know now and we can move on. But for now, I would like to ask you humble <laughs> pizza rolls or hot yeah. pockets. Oh. That's hard. I don't That's think hard. I had pick the rolls. But okay, I will say this. I used to love pizza rolls once you will microwave them. But uh -huh. I think Hot Pockets later on, I started liking. The only thing I don't mm -hmm. like is when you heat them up, they're really hot. So you cannot really enjoy because you will burn your tongue <laughs> and you're yeah. removing your taste buds. But if you, I will say Hot Pockets. I definitely, yeah, Hot Pockets. It's my go. -to. Okay. So for me, I, I love Hot Pockets. But I feel like one is never enough. I'm not going to lie. I'm a fat ass. But then like, <laughs> but then like pizza rolls, you can put how many and I like to eat them with ranch. I don't know about you or Chad. I don't know if anybody else eats it with ranch, but they're so good. My mouth is watering. But I don't know. I'm going to have to go with you. I enjoy Hot Pockets a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> I don't be eating it with ranch. I never got into um, ranch or... I don't even need spicy stuff, so I just like to eat it how it is. Like, okay. yeah. Okay. All right. You don't like spicy stuff? I love spicy food. No, I can't. Really? Uh, even, what is it called? What is the lowest spiciness? You know how when you go to a burger shop, they're like, I think it's called mild. Yeah, I think it's called that. Mild, my yeah, brother was mild. thinking that I was, yeah, my brother was like, you should try this spicy burger. So I said, I could try it, but my body would reject it because when really? I was a little kid, they uh -huh. never got me used to eating spicy stuff. So my yeah. stomach doesn't have a tolerance. So okay. I think I gave it a try. I took two bites and immediately my stomach started like rejecting the food immediately. Water was rushing through my throat oh, and I almost throw up and i knew that my body was like i told you you know i told you yeah and i was like i just want to taste you know so yeah yeah that's crazy that oh i'm sorry i feel for you <laughs> i love spicy food that makes me so sad yeah. um, um good, goodbye top flight i hope you have a good rest of your night thank you for being here um so before we move on is there anything that you would like to add about streaming Mm, I will add also for people that don't know me or mm -hmm. my viewers is that my brother helped me a lot. He's like a tech savvy dude. Like um, I had a PlayStation 4. So when it came with streaming, he started telling me about the specs of the PC. Like you said, do your research before you start buying a pre-build or if you want to do a custom build, because yeah. Yeah. you can't just think that even if a Best Buy um, mm -hmm. person tells you, oh, buy this, you can stream with this. They don't have good specs. So I do appreciate my brother helping me and letting me understand building PCs. I have 10 fans. I have a 3090, you know, wow. I got a bunch of RAM. So that helped my stream a lot because... Mm -hmm. I need to upgrade my PC before streaming and doing all this stuff. Yeah. So it was amazing. And fun fact, no one in my family ever built a PC. So the fact that me and my brother just look it up on YouTube and we just did it and we yeah. wing it, I was like, fuck. Like, we fucking <laughs> hard because, man, that was crazy. And yeah. my cousins, my family got shocked that we were playing gaming PCs. So... I would definitely add that that I didn't do it by myself, but mm -hmm. I learned a lot with the PCs and the mm -hmm. monitors having the highest hertz. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what the most grateful I am for YouTube and Google <laughs> is <laughs> you're able, you know, because you don't have to call somebody and pay them to come do this for you. Mm -hmm. you, you just do it and it's and you save a lot more money. <laughs> um, yeah, no, of course. 
Uh, what? What gunfighter? What? I'm saying... Gun oh, okay. I know why she's getting upset. She actually helped me out a lot setting this all up. Um, no, I know. I, I feel yeah. like you guys are besties, so... Yeah. yeah, so I'm not trying to take any credit from her or anything. Um, I'm just trying to say is whenever I have... Like, if I have to look up something, like, emotes... Like when I had to do the emotes and like and stuff like that, I had to look it up on how yeah. to do it. And oh, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Gunfighter. I'm not trying to take anything away from you. Um but this was I I know I missed a couple questions, but this question was from Gunfighter. Um, um what made you want to stick around Hawk, aka uh the community of chillers? Oh, chillers? Uh, yeah. What do you mean chillers? Like your community or just overall, yeah. like around people? The, um, yeah, she's talking about the server. Like what made you want to stay around like like the community? Mm. Yours community, right? Yours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's Well, I guess it's not really mine well, anymore. It's like everybody's. No, because well, like, every, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a family. Yeah. yeah. I said it's yours specifically. Yeah because everyone mm -hmm. contributes whether it's art. Oh, yeah. I think, to be honest, um, when I met you, I think it was Risky. It when was I met risky. risky. Yeah, when I met Risky, he will say, oh, follow this person, follow this. But before even me following people, I would just be there just observing, because I like to observe people before yeah. saying, oh, this person is nice. I That's don't want good. people to tickle my ear and tell me something, which I think me and you could we agree i don't want to yeah. be tickled in my ear i want to know based on actions behavior day by day and yeah. i think i saw you and gunny um join risky oh. and you guys will uh -huh. go both at it with humor so i'm uh -huh. like okay i love this dynamic you know i love this genuine side between them you know mm -hmm. so i gave you a follow i joined your stream and yeah. just seeing you interact be genuine um mm -hmm. i feel like when people meet whether it is social media twitch mm -hmm. if you're compatible with like if you like humor and i like humor it's more easier yeah. for us to come together so i think the reason why i stick around in your discord and community overall is everyone is so amazing you know yeah. and even persistent red like Every, every time I come into your stream, everyone says hi to me. So for me, it's like, why not stick around? Why not do something, even saying hi or hype up someone, you know, or go with the humor, you know? So, yeah. yeah. I'm definitely with you there because I've been to a few streams and I love that you said that. I love because that's the people, you know, like I want when new people come in to always feel welcome because that's something that yeah. when I go into like new streams, it, it can be such a almost a kill vibe when you're trying to talk to like that person's community and they're just like ignoring you yeah yeah and you're just like oh and i think that's you actually like, yeah, yeah well awkward i always feel awkward because i'm like oh <laughs> <laughs> but that's actually what i liked about you is because i remember we were in risky we were in risky stream and like mm -hmm. And I, I have only, you know, I was only in there a couple times, but when I had gone in there, like you were just talking to me, like we were having like a full conversation, you know, like a discussion. And so I was like, I was like, this is nice. Like this is, you know, I enjoy people like that. People that aren't afraid to like <laughs> talk to others and stuff. So, so thank you, humble. Thank you. For yeah. Thank you. I, yeah think, I think, I think when you're talking about not personal topics, Mm -hmm. I love about that even a woman or a man when they speak and they be genuine. Yeah. And that's why I was like, man, me and you me and you click at that yeah. point. I was <laughs> like, you know what? I could definitely be around this streamer. I don't need to be in a personal level. Even mm -hmm. I could be a what is that called? Um what is that called when you're not best friends but acquaintance i could even be a acquaintance uh, you know, yeah could okay. chat here and there like yeah so for me it's like i love how you were just straightforward talking about subjects that you were not afraid to yeah. speak or voice out your your thoughts mm -hmm. and your way of thinking so i definitely was like you know what 
Like mm -hmm. we follow. I do. I, I'm, I'm going to say this right now. I do find that to be rare um, where people do talk out or talk like being open. I find yeah. that rare nowadays because I feel like I do feel like not most people are willing to be open, um, especially on certain topics. I feel like it makes them uncomfortable. And so it, and, and for me, it's like, why? Why do we have to be uncomfortable? Like, <laughs> like we all go through it like. We all have gone through something that's almost similar, you know. So it's like let's let's connect on that. Like let's discuss it. So Yeah. I think. <laughs> and I try to give everyone the same attention as much as I can because if mm -hmm. I'm in your stream, I'm not gonna just talk to Gunny. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to Ruby or I'm gonna talk to Red or mm -hmm. I'm gonna just because I do see that some people connect as little groups in chat yeah. and then there's those that don't really they just come and talk to the streamer but they're not connected uh -huh. to a certain way and for me it's like if we're making a community and especially yeah. want to see people open up it's better to talk to everyone or help them break the ice or get them comfortable so yeah, yeah definitely i i for sure i agree with that um so humble are you are you ready for this next topic yes <laughs> okay perfect so this i think you're going to love it it is about art um oh okay and so i wanted to ask you when did you first start to draw and realize that you have a talent for it um i think it was i think it was kindergarten mm -hmm. so i remember I, I barely have like memory of it but i was a little kid and mm -hmm. They had it was not even art school. It was just something to kill time. So okay. our intern was like, I got this book from art. And she was like, Thank you, Ruby. <laughs> Ruby came in my school. <laughs> but uh, I think what is amazing is that they told all of us to draw an animal. And she showed us a paper. So they put us in different groups. And I was like, okay, this is different. Like it's not school yeah. work. So uh -huh. we started drawing and she gave us a print of it. And um, what is crazy is that when I started drawing, I noticed that some people tend to look at the reference way too much. Oh, but okay. they will not look at the paper that is going crazy or the legs of the lion is getting too crazy or the tail or the body is way too fat and the head is too small <laughs> so when i finished drawing i was really having fun with it it was a group activity with different people so when i looked at my paper um uh, i noticed that my drawing would look exactly as a reference not the best but similar and then i see uh -huh. all the little kids girls and guys yeah that or little kids that this kid had like a big head of a lion and then a small body. And I was like, I'm not going to tell them how to draw about in my head. Like, boy, you see that lion doesn't have to be <laughs> yeah, like an elephant. <laughs> so that was crazy. So that's when I found out that I, I had like a talent or I had the patience and the characteristics uh -huh. to follow through a reference. So from there, I started just drawing bit by bit. Okay, that's awesome. Um, real quick, thank you, Ruby. I'm happy that you like it. I'm happy that you saw that. Um, but this is a question from Gunfighter. Would you draw Red, aka Kangaroo Fucker, naked like on Titanic? Who's the? <laughs> Who's Red? Is that the like the actor? No, Red is actually somebody from the, the. He's from the community. He's the kangaroo fucker. <laughs> well, I never seen him. I doubt it. I think I will get canceled. Or people will fuck weird. Kangaroo. Because they want to swear. Or they will question me. Like they're gonna be like, "What the hell?" That's so funny. Oh, you're drawn. Sorry. Like it. <laughs> Sorry, Red. I guess you're not gonna get drawn. <laughs> yeah, Red. My bad. Uh you still you sexy though. What other one? Oh, the other one I have, like the other cup. Sorry, Ruby. I only have this one right now. The other one's upstairs. Oh, the other one's upstairs right now. But you'll see it. You'll see it next Friday. Don't worry. <laughs> so. So how did you develop your art skills? 
okay, so the way I developed my art skills was mm-hmm. more in a high school. So when I was, I think a sophomore, I started diving into it more. And mm-hmm. yeah, so I noticed that when I would do art, that I cannot be too caught up with the reference, like I said earlier. So yeah. I started going, I was focusing on my paper more than the mm-hmm. reference. So I will start learning techniques, shading, um, and challenging myself. I started drawing the Predator, um, Halo. Oh, wow. Halo is really hard. Uh, uh-huh. I started just the Hulk, for example. He has so much definition. So I started getting that down first with pens. It was just pencil, no coloring, just straight pencil and pen. And I kept practicing and switching yeah. the style because there's a lot of people that will stick with maybe like the same pose or the same mm-hmm. direction of someone looking to the right and they will not draw someone looking down or looking up or looking to the left so mm-hmm. i developed yeah. my skills first with that and then mm-hmm. just like i said just keep practicing daily every day i think my binder in high school was of art was like this big compared to my school one <laughs> so oh that's funny yeah uh, i can see that. yeah that. that's <laughs> no, awesome I definitely develop. and confidence you have to have confidence and not let your intrusive thoughts tell you otherwise and i think that's why a lot of people quit a lot of people say oh i can't do this or it looks too ugly yeah. looks, but it's the process of it it's just a sketch so yeah do you so do you by chance have maybe a drawing that was like from like a long time ago still and that you can compare to what you're drawing now um no and i'm gonna tell you what happened okay so, <laughs> okay don't get mad so oh, i used I to that big binder that uh-huh. that big binder when i came to move out in az I uh-huh. ripped most of my drawings, you know, that I brought. Oh, but uh-huh. I I used to do sci-fi and freestyle. But the drawings that you've seen so far, uh-huh. they look way, you could tell the difference within. Yeah. They're still good, but you could tell that I fixed my line work more. It looks more amazing, you know? Mm-hmm. So I don't have, per- I don't repeat my drawings. So mm-hmm. if I, I drew Hulk back in the day, I still have it but i don't have it like i haven't done a recent one so far but he still looks good like as the sketch that i made okay no yeah i could definitely no that's awesome no it's okay i'm not mad at you that you ripped up your (laughs) you ripped up your artwork um no i definitely get that i do in in a certain way because i used to write a lot and yeah. never kept it i would just rip it up <laughs> so i in a way i kind of like the concept of it i understand um so i was gonna say so earlier you talked about your style changing um because you said you yeah. used to do sci-fi and i forgot what was the other thing sci-fi and well it was mostly like marvel like yeah the Hulk, uh, yeah. halo so mm-hmm. now obviously now that you see me doing art i'm doing more yeah. realism in a way but it's still anime is not realistically okay. portraits of people but that's the difference where i started transferring the type of focus not that okay. i cannot draw wolverine the hulk rick and yeah. morty batman yeah. i know i could do or halo i know i'm able to but i think i've done that enough that I like to challenge myself different categories. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like that. I, I could definitely see that with you because in this conversation, some things that you have talked about is you wanting a different challenge. And as soon as you got something like you want to move on and you want to you want to keep growing and keep stepping up. So I like that. That's actually really cool. Yeah, um, I appreciate it. So do you have any big like artistic influences? I have two. Um, his name is W L O P. He's an amazing, amazing digital artist uh-huh. that everyone can even incorporate his art style, and mm-hmm. he does digital. 
and he does like speed well in the videos he it takes him maybe like weeks or months but he mm-hmm. chops it up to 30 minutes so he inspired me with digital art because i really look up to digital artists the way that they do about their art and he changes the same stuff like i tell you nothing repetitive yeah. different colors different shapes different characters jewelry goes uh-huh. fully detailed the way i go so he inspired me to just not look up to him or idolize him but i respect his the things that he incorporates and mm-hmm. equip other young artists like myself to challenge myself and go crazy so that's one of him there's another guy named nick sue i think they're I, I don't know their background you don't they don't show their face they don't yeah. show who they are they just show their art so mm-hmm. those are two people that really inspire me and other many others yeah that's really cool um uh so i was gonna say persistent i know earlier you asked a question about artwork and streaming could you ask it ask it again please um so humble i was going to ask you next um what is your favorite artwork to draw then right now i love drawing warriors of women oh Uh, okay that's why i keep drawing a lot of chicks and not only that it's not about the girls is Mm -hmm. that girls are more harder in my opinion than guys i could draw a guy easy but i think a girl's features her cheeks her chin her nose it's every single different yeah compared to a guy you could just do a freaking (laughs) nose lips (laughs) the hair but a girl has so many hair types yeah shoulder like it's just Uh is you could go so in depth but i'm bad with lips with girls i'm bad with eyes eyebrows eyelashes and i think Uh i keep doing girls because i want to keep tackling it every single time so So, and I really I, respect all of that. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I was going to... No, that's actually really cool. I, and I was going to say, I can't imagine that girls are harder, especially with, like, the hair, like you said, and then the lips. Um, and, yeah, and they're just more... I, I, I definitely understand what you're saying. I was going to say, though, I did save a picture of your art from the Discord, that you're, the work that you're working on now. Would it be okay if I showed it to chat? Of course, yeah. Okay, all right. Hold on, chat. I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna show you the work that he's currently doing now. It's really it's really good. It's really good. Mm. Can you guys see it? Hold on. Mm. Can you guys see it or no? I don't know if you guys. I hope I think you guys can see it, but um, this is what he's currently working on now. And it it is it's badass gunfighter. It's truly amazing. Um, And if you're in the server in the discord server, he he's putting in updates of the artwork. So if everybody wants to like see how it like goes and goes like it's really cool. I'm so excited and I can't wait till it's finished. It's really cool. I appreciate it, Jenna. You don't need to no. show my art. <laughs> no, I got you. Um, so I was gonna say, how long the piece that you're drawing now? How long do you typically say, or how long do you typically think that takes when, like, to finish it? Mm, it depends. Like. Okay, my the only reason I'm saying that is because I think I'm a I'm an ambitious person. Yeah. So when it comes with yeah. art, and my stream have seen it, my previous drawings, uh-huh. I will do ten hours straight. I will uh-huh. eat, do ten hours straight, and lose myself. And that's when I'm hitting my creative um techniques. Even yeah. in the middle of it, I will incorporate new things that I'm not even aware if it's gonna look good or not. And I just yeah. go for it. So it will be multiple streams of 10 hours each day. So the mm-hmm. Demon Slayer one that you have in your Discord, I did a whole week of 10 hours back to back and I just finished it. 
just like oh my that. god that's crazy but the yeah. demon slayer you could see the demon slayer is not as detailed as the one that you just showed right now you could tell the difference with the detail so it depends it, it all just depends on my schedule like i told you i go to the gym even i join to your streams i'm out of the gym so <laughs> either i go to the gym or not or i just go straight and not play it's a sacrifice with my time it's either i prioritize the art mm -hmm. no overwatch no scary games yeah no chatting no gym streams just straight art or i just here and there it just depends the schedule so speaking of art and streaming how often do you do your art on stream would you say it's like once a month type of thing or no so this week i did monday tuesday and wednesday art four hours straight or five doing art um so it varies when i was mm -hmm. doing horror games i just kept doing horror games but when i'm doing art i just stick with the art so it could depends it just depends sometimes because i do have people that want to play with me so mm -hmm. i'll need to just push that in the side my art and do gaming you know so it depends yeah okay yeah i could definitely see that um gunfighter i know it's not mine i even said that earlier i said it's ours <laughs> so sorry if i sorry if i said my server i didn't mean to yeah. um, uh, i was gonna say oh so red he did talk about realism realism so Red yeah. is asking if you're going to try realism, and I know that's something that you talked about that you're you're doing now, right? Well, it depends. There's different layers of realism. You got realism of shading. You got realism uh -huh. of realistically. Like I'm talking about. So maybe you just to inform those who are not too much into art. So for art, um there's the there's prisma colors right those are the second yeah. best color pencils that you will ever get and there's Ooh, okay. another one that people use those are really expensive in michaels so with prisma colors mm -hmm. you could shade and blend and you could actually do realistic um skin coloring freckles um makeup the same way as girls will do makeup you could do it with those type of pencils and uh -huh. that's a different realism with those type of colors and then you have the other ones with the other colors that you could just go beyond that or even with black and white um, uh -huh. i saw this woman doing shading she'll break the pencil and use that little black stuff and start doing uh -huh. the hair but actually really it looks like you took a picture of a woman and it looks so real like mm -hmm. everything so there's just layers of realism so it okay. all depends on what category I want to hit, you know? So I yeah. think slowly by slowly, I'm getting there. But yeah, it's, it's, it's like a big <laughs> environment where you want to go to. Okay. Um, no, that's really cool. No, realism, realism is so amazing and scary at the same time because you're just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a question from Red. Have you ever tried using other materials to create with, like charcoal? no um it just depends on your setup like my setup right now it's like i'm so good at pencil because i've been uh -huh. from middle school working all yeah. the way to high school and from high school to now just pencil that's why i'm so good at it but mm -hmm. with charcoal i will need to invest the same time and go from maybe like doing it bad doing it good and learn from the process but it yeah. all depends how you want because you have to if you buy one thing you need to buy 10 other things so i think with charcoal you will need to get special equipment or special gloves or special paper because the paper that i have i didn't even know about the paper um i have a friend that she's an artist and she was like okay you want to get into art go to michael's what type of paper you want you want watercolor paper do you want shading paper do you want sketching paper and each paper they have different weight classes that would oh, definitely no. change certain papers you could do a sketch but you cannot no. erase it or some papers too thin or too thick that would change the outcome so it's it just depends on what materials you incorporate 
all together with charcoal, with color pencils, with pens. Even when we buy lead pencils, I bought different lead pencils that even architects, I'm using lead pencils that even architects use for their blueprints before doing mm -hmm. a skyscraper, an actual house. So it just depends on the materials you combined. Yeah. That's crazy. It's crazy, I'm telling you. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. <sighs> Red said, so drawing is like boxing, different weight classes. Yeah, technically. Yeah, that, wow, that is crazy. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that there was different types of paper to use. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, even um, to, <clears throat> to that, uh -huh. there is a liquid, a blending liquid. <laughs> so you know how in pictures you take a picture of someone yeah. and you can blur out the background? Mm -hmm. with the, it's from the uk it's called um i have it right in my desk i bought it took like two weeks to get it there that oh, wow. blending you uh -huh. can blend with a regular brush it's so like strong but it doesn't give you headaches i researched it it doesn't uh -huh. does nothing it's like in, environmental free and friendly okay. so it will not catch up on fire nothing but that blender could do what a picture an actual expensive picture or photograph or whatever the the tech savvy stuff with cameras uh -huh. it could do the same thing on a traditional paper so oh, wow. i bought that so people don't even know that the people think that i, I praise the digital artists but uh -huh. the fact that people are keeping up with this type of stuff and mm -hmm. just keeping up with the same level as digital artists or just sky rocking yeah. way more than that so it just shows you how and i saw this um i took classes on mm -hmm. art and this lady uh -huh. was using that same model mm -hmm. so her art looked like she took a picture outside or an animal mm -hmm. bird uh -huh. cat yes yeah, so. okay that's crazy um so 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 speaking on some of the things that you've drawn what would you say is your favorite piece that you've done oh um mm. I think it depends on if I put them in our categories. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite piece that I like right now, I love all my art. I think my favorite one is the woman riding a lion. And oh. she has, I made all her um, armor made out of roses and thorns. Uh -huh. And okay. I made her hair really wavy. So I love that one because I okay. really was fighting week by week i was like should i give up should not i give up should i keep trying so yeah. that's my favorite one for that type of art style but i think mm -hmm. the one that i'm doing right now and the other one with the two girls those are my two favorite ones so far okay. um would we be able to see the lady on the riding the lion in the server yeah um i have it right here hold on okay i'm excited i would i think you did show this to us on your stream I'm pretty sure you did, yeah. right? Yeah, you did. Because I bought this little folder because mm -hmm. oh. I have so much art that yeah. I need to like put somewhere before the cat grabs it. So it's this one. Wow. Okay. So this one is really realistic. Oh, wow. So it's almost like the one that I'm doing, but this one is different. Yeah. I like her outfit. But I could definitely post yeah, so the lion is right here. I need a third paper in the it's middle, but it's technically it's like a lion. And she's oh, okay. obviously I need another paper up here with a sword, yeah. but it's still like, So that's my favorite one. I was gonna say just with you having to do that on two different pieces of two different pieces of paper, that's actually really cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, oh. it's hard because um, mm -hmm. I started doing posters because I was telling my chat that when I had those two different papers, eventually, because I'm doing so much art, the two yeah. papers will go like this. So, yeah. Wow. Um, this is a question from Red. Um, is that your favorite <laughs> shirt? <laughs> my favorite shirt? No, yeah. I have more. Um, one thing that well my stream and my viewers haven't seen me dress like this i love dressing really nice i love long sleeve button up um tuck in um different styles i have in my closet i have different uh -huh. styles 
you know, up close. So I literally yeah. like to look sharp and mm -hmm. yeah. That's nice. So. I was say you look really good today. Like I like your outfit. Thank I you. Love I that shirt. <laughs> um, <laughs> persistent. Oh, oh, persistent. I already asked that question. Um. Uh, but I, I'll ask again. Um, do you have a favorite thing that you ever drew? Yeah, yeah. He just showed us persistent. Um, do you have anything in color though? I'll I'll put that in. Um, I think. Have I? I could show it on the stream because I think you could sh show it more better than I do. Um, oh, okay. Let me see. I do have. Um, I drew. What's her name from Joker? Harley Quinn. Oh, I did Harley. oh yeah, you said that. I remember you said you did Harley Quinn. That one, I got afraid because that's an original drawing. So uh -huh. I need to be careful with the colors that I pick and the shading and the sunlight. I think I posted it on your Discord. I'm not sure. Uh, I can check right now. Give me one second. She has like a sword and he has. Um, I think you did. I'm pretty sure. She has like a pink, um, it's like a pink ish, um, sweater. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me. Yeah. Did I post mm -hmm. it right? I think I mm -hmm. did. Hold on, let me exit out of this. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Mm. I don't know, chat. Can you can you see that good? Because I can't zoom in. I would have to. Well, maybe. Let me see. There we go. Is that better? Can you guys see it? I'll show them right here. I have it right here too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's this one. You did with her other eye. Yeah, That's I changed crazy. the colors, but uh -huh. it's definitely pink. Yeah, she's like pink. And the sword too. I like the sword. <laughs> yeah, this one was a okay, so yeah. all the arts that you see me, I will get uh -huh. 20 different references and put them in one. With my own mm -hmm. art style involving that too. Uh -huh. So you will not be able to find the references looking exactly because I put my own twist to it. So it's like okay. taking like little pieces of an okay. arm and eye, hair. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. Um but also hold on. This is a question from chat. Um, one thing Talon loves to do in his stream is take his shirt off and flex for us. Will you be willing to do the same? Um, I don't have a shirt under, and then if I do, because I have the long sleeves, you know, mm -hmm. I might need to end up being shirtless. <laughs> but I don't know. I I feel like if I didn't did all this, then I would, you know. Oh, but, okay. sorry, guys. Yeah, because I, I do have the chains. I need to unbutton everything. Yeah, you know? Talon. I don't but, know. So if you go on Talon stream, he actually goes shirtless. Oh, he does? Does he work <laughs> out, though? <laughs> no, he, I don't think so. Talon, do you work out? I can't. I don't know if you've said you go. I don't think so, right? Because oh, when I do. mostly, um, when I mostly be, they're going to be crazy if I do remove my shirt. My chat never seen me with no shirt. They're going to be, what the fuck? But um, when I be doing my gym streams, I do wear tank tops and they could see all the, because I'm, I, I do calisthenics, so. Okay. Yeah, uh, so people definitely see that I'm yeah. like fit and everything. He's on roids, persistent. No, <laughs> he said I'm on roids. <laughs> uh, I did persistency in my gym streams. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, think, yeah I haven't seen your gym streams. You've been I missing, haven't. Jenna, but yeah, I, I do I two an hour or uh -huh. one hour. So, um. yeah. <laughs> I did it with the vest. I think Persistent saw me because I use a tactical vest and I've been yeah. doing handstands. Wow. I could do 
uh, back to back, I could do just for two hours, no breaks. And then even after I get done with that, I could bench uh -huh. press 245, wow. six sets, eight reps. Yeah. So I've been trying to do pull ups with a tactical vest on. And mm. it's rough. I can't even get one. But without the vest, I, I can get four yeah. pull ups in. I can get four pull ups. I just started this summer. I just started to do pull ups. <laughs> recently no, I love that. and it's it's rough it's so rough with the tactical vest i'm like oh <laughs> yeah i bought the ta tactical vest i think it was mm -hmm. three years ago yeah. i bought it from it was it's a real tactical vest but with weights plated uh -huh. so it was for the veterans so all the money goes to the vets which i love oh, and yes. i love crossfit so it was from mm -hmm. crossfit from road so when i bought that vest it was hard. I was. I thought I could do push-ups, but that shit was hard to do. But oh, I'm able. Wow. Okay, with the vest, I'm uh -huh. able to do ten. Or just for chat, they could see and know. I could do ten diamonds nonstop, mm -hmm. right? Then after the diamonds, r with the vest on, regular push-ups, ten, right? Uh -huh. And then military. I don't know. If you've seen the military push-ups. Uh -huh. You keep your your elbows to your ribs and oh, you wow. push up. And when you go down. Uh -huh. I slide back and then all this part is touching the ground. Mm -hmm. I, I would need to show you one day, but I'm able to. Yeah. Go, it's almost going back, forward, and push up for 10 reps. And then mm -hmm. I could do the Spider Man. So when I'm like this, I'm able to bend my arm like that, keep this one all straight, and bend uh -huh. this one and just do 10 of those. And then wow. I could like do tricep push ups like that, keeping my back straight. Mm -hmm. And I could do uh, it for two hours back to back. I don't get tired. So, yeah, <laughs> it's it's crazy work. Yeah, people call me yeah, crazy. I can imagine. Um, Gunfighter, I'll have to show you guys another time because I have it out in my car right now. Um, okay. So, what is your? Uh, oh no, we did that one. Okay. So, if you could sell your art in a gallery, what type of theme would you go for? Go for, and what would it be called? Mm, it's out in my opinion i will say that based on what i heard from people that take art classes and they go mm -hmm. to the galleries yeah there's certain yeah. people that run those industries that they want to characterize what is art and what is not so oh, a lot of okay. good artists will not be able to because there's because they only call they think in their eyes art is this but it's not that. And I feel like for even myself, I think that um, I would not be able to. I might. It depends. Mm -hmm. But you stepping on a different platform of people that they're supposed to think that they already know what is art. Mm -hmm. And I don't agree with that. So yeah. I think for that first yeah. question, it will be hard for me to put my art. Because most art is abstracts nowadays. It's just a bunch of fucking paint all over the place. <laughs> or it could be even like different yeah. um, objects being put together, you know? But you don't really yeah. see that my type of art styles in those art galleries like that. You see mostly paintings, not really traditional or really like talented art. So it, okay. it depends. Or it, okay. I think you might need to be in a big social background with a family mm -hmm. lineage that. Or you're well known that you're able to have your stuff there. The name, mm -hmm. I wouldn't know what I would name it if I did put my art. Maybe a mm -hmm. humble art or something. Okay, there you go. That would be, that's cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to say right now to you in chat, um, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it just so everyone's aware. Um, just, I just wanted you to be aware. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, so What's the best advice you've been given when it comes to art? Um, I'll be really telling people, genuinely, I'll be telling people that because there are people that come in my stream that are artists that do paint, mm -hmm. are amazing artists, even though mm -hmm. I have a different category of art. And, yeah. and my biggest thing I tell them is do not be caught up with what I'm doing, how uh -huh. I do my art, and then you beat yourself up and telling yourself that you cannot do what I do. Or some people uh -huh. tell me, how do you do the top of hair? 
or the shame yeah. but in realistically speaking i don't know what the hell i'm doing i'm just <laughs> i'm just going with yeah. it and being comfortable and taking my time but my biggest advice is take your time do self character build up and that's what i do off stream uh-huh. or on stream i always be okay. telling myself i could do this i'm built i i'm equipped it what i need in the moment and i don't even need to have a good household a good environment a good community or people and those day whatever i have within myself i'm able to succeed and that's yeah. why i try to encourage young artists that you guys could even overlap me and even surprise me so we could work as one yeah. whatever you learn from me i've learned from you so that's what i say that's for advice thing. um red so this is a question from red who is your favorite artist of all time Mm. that people know no one really i don't be looking up i don't know it's my main thing that people don't know is that i don't look up like people like that i'm mostly like on my little bubble and just doing my own stuff if i see other people do certain things i will take certain things that they do and apply in my life whether it works or not that's how i go about it but favorite artist like that not really okay i guess you so you're not the you're not the first person to tell me something like that especially when it comes to something um like if it came to something like cooking working out or i'm trying to think like an athlete you know like there's people there's people out there that are like i really don't have necessarily like a favorite artist but yeah. so i definitely i definitely understand I get what you mean. Um, but before we move on from art, is there anything that you would like to add about it before we move on? Mm, not really. I think I covered good. <laughs> if the chat has more questions, I will answer. But um, other than that, nah, we're good. And also, chat, I would like to say thank you for the questions. These are W questions, and I'm happy that you guys are very curious, especially into um yeah just i'm just sorry i'm like i'm, I'm mumbling <laughs> okay. i have mom that has a question you could ask one mom is it for jenna I, who is I have, this like, so. <laughs> okay oh no you could ask for an mom yeah i have like in my chat they're asking one thing oh are they asking questions oh yeah 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 i definitely i'm ready for the go ahead <laughs> oh it's for me okay it's for okay me. you go go for it mom Gonna be cracking me up. She said, "Boy, you dumbass." <laughs> she oh yeah. To people. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is she funny? Is she? <laughs> um. She said, "Have you ever considered nude art?" Ooh. Okay. Um. Mm. One. Okay. One thing about me a lot is that uh-huh. I don't do nude stuff. I don't okay. sexual you could tell with my art I don't show hips cuz when I go to different websites uh-huh. like Google or like anime art uh-huh. um there's this website called Deviant Art I think it's a big platform that promote it like Twitch but it promotes big artists with different categories of art and uh-huh. I do notice that a lot of people be doing sex really sexual stuff I can see and- that I think that the saddest thing in the art industry, not everyone, but a good handful is that they sexualize the art way too much. That yeah. is just the same stuff. But, you know, the the breast or even the men, whatever. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's like, when I see art like that, I don't focus yeah. on the parts. When I see the hair looking so nice, I'm like, bro, you like killing the art. You could do definitely more stuff about it yeah know? so me personally i don't do no nude art i don't okay. i don't sexualize sexualize myself like that nor i mm. do it in my art so yeah you notice okay. in my art i don't be showing big ass titties big ass yeah. butt or <sighs> yeah so all right um <laughs> gun said nah ask it now no written now hmm Oh no, it says uh, Gunny came to my. Uh, oh. Screen. Okay. Um, wait, wait. Is she asked? I don't understand. Did she ask something? She said, What about posing for art or just art in general? Oh, no. I oh. Okay, I'm good. 
Okay. Um, so for then, since we're moving on from art, this is one of my favorite topics that we do here. Um, it's called Would yeah. You Rather? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. All right. So the first one is gross. Um, would you rather eat a chunk of hair pulled out of a shower drain or eat moldy or eat a moldy dead rat? Oh, that's that's nasty. Um, I think <laughs> either way, both are nasty because the sewer or wherever the shower is going, all that water, all that dirt in it's uh -huh. Now, if it's okay, if it's someone that cleans their shower, like the yeah. drainage, good every fucking day, and they're cleaning their hair, uh huh. Then I will eat the fucking hair, you know. At least that shit will not kill me. At least I could eat it and then just somehow put it <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Even okay. though that sounds crazy, but I think yeah. the moldy rat, I think I will definitely die from that shit or I will get an infection. Yeah, I, I'm going to say I agree with you because I do feel like eating the moldy rat, you'll, yeah, you'll have, you'll die, I think, or you'll just get sick for like months. No, no yeah, way. because your body, your, your white cells in your body will start even attacking your own system. Yeah. In the middle of trying to remove whatever is in your body. So, yeah. Crazy. Um, so I do agree with you. But for our next question, would you rather cry every time you have sex or emit a blood curdling scream at the time of climax? What type of blood? Like, no. So like, would you would you rather cry every time you have sex, or would you rather do like a crazy like scream every time you climax? Oh, scream! I thought you said blood coming out. I'm like, <laughs> oh no! Damn, I'm, 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 I'm dying. Um, I think well, knowing based on people's studies, they do mm -hmm. say that if you do have a certain sex with a person, mm -hmm. and you able to hit their um it's there's a word dopamine or some shit like that and uh -huh. you actually will be able to tap into a woman's or even vice versa man's emotions so fully like actually genuinely cry because it, it hits you with so much like it's not just adrenaline it hits you with uh -huh. every aspect of your characteristic so i would say the first one okay i'd rather do one. that it's not really the prime part but it's really like your emotions are like Feel like you're in cloud okay. nine technically. <laughs> okay, yeah. I can see that. Um, so for my next would you rather question, and chat, you could also ask any would you rather questions. Um, would you rather have sex with your biggest celebrity crush or your favorite porn star? Mm. Wait, can you ask that? I was looking at chat. My bad. No, you're okay. Um. Would you rather have sex with your biggest celebrity crush or your favorite porn star? Damn. Um, knowing that both will have thousands of bodies, you know, knowing how yeah. people now nowadays don't have morals <laughs> or even like keeping themselves from not having sexual partners. Damn, that's a tough one because I... It's not even the porn star or the celebrity. Both of them are on the same category. You know, they're in the yeah. dead end stick. Um, Zeno said both. Be, <laughs> <laughs> they say both. Yeah, they said no, both. I think, well, to be honest, I don't really have a celebrity crush. I think certain okay. people are gorgeous. But just for the question, I will say just celebrity. If there's someone that I could just pick, I will just... Okay. So what? I'm still what's a, away. What celebrity? I want to know what celebrity. Mm, I don't know. I can give you one on top of my head. Um, now it depends on what type of celebrities. Are you talking about singer celebrities, or are you talking about people that have good platforms or are well known, or are you talking um, about just? It, it could be any. It could be anybody. It could be an actor. Um, R20, thank you for the bits, Ryan. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, it could be anybody. It could be a rapper. It could be a singer. It could be an actress. Um, it could be somebody that's pop, like very famous off YouTube, off Instagram. Anybody that you want. Who, but who would it be? Her name. Even though it sounds bad that I forgot her name. <laughs> uh, 
she was a Spanish singer that they killed her, obviously. But oh, Selena. Yeah, I will pick her. It's not too much about the appearance. It's just the yeah. chemistry that she will just bring in the music. And just even outside of that, people will say that she was really kind and nice. So I'd rather yeah. pick a celebrity who are genuinely connecting with people instead of just picking someone that they're just not moving the way that they think or you will assume they're thinking. Because yeah. I, don't, I don't look at it like just a quick fuck. I look at it like a connection. You know, in a way, even though I don't know her, obviously, but still. yeah, um, this so but this is a question from Gunfighter. Who is your favorite porn star? And chat, I'm also curious, who is your favorite porn star? <laughs> favorite porn star? I don't really have I'm a curious. favorite, even though that sounds crazy. I, I really don't. Um, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't even think one. You know who has a favorite porn star? Persistent. Oh. <laughs> he, he, a long time ago, he, I think he, him or Talon, I think it was Persistent though, they put their favorite porn star in this, in the, um, their channel, which is funny. Um, <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> um, so, it was me, Persistent said it was me. <laughs> yeah, he, he wants to make sure, um, he has all the credit, so that I get. Uh, <laughs> okay, perfect. Jenna Ronis, who's your favorite favorite porn star? I really, to be honest with you, I don't have a favorite porn star. Uh, kind of like, kind of like humble. I don't really have anyone specific that I like. I'm like, oh my god, like I could watch them all the time. I'm a variety person. I like to see different types yeah. of pics, you know, boobs, <laughs> like, types of like crazy stuff going on so yeah. <laughs> favorite porn star um no but huh. um what's your oh this is a question from zeno good question zeno what's your favorite position humble um i think missionary i think that's Ooh, okay. the best one because even though uh -huh. people will say doggy style, but like I said, it all comes down to actual intimacy, not just a quick or because I, yeah, I would say missionary, you know, you could yeah. grab the person's hands, you could see their brain, their face. And you could go keep up with, you know, the intensity based on their face expressions, yeah. and it's more like a connection type mm -hmm. of stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I honestly, I agree with you. Um, I, I, um, if anybody, if you do missionary, I feel like it is, it's truly intimate because you can, you can kiss them. Because if you think about you it, know. even though someone say like, what the fuck, but I'm just saying like, if someone is doing doggy style, obviously it's different, depends on the man. If a man doesn't know how to hit the area for the woman uh -huh. and pleasure her, then you cannot really always say doggy style because some women will say, "Oh, his dick was shit," or there's yeah. I didn't even I didn't even finish my own orgasm, or I didn't. Mm -hmm. So it all comes down to the person. But I'm saying if it you does. really have someone connected, then I think the positions wouldn't really matter. But it depends yes. if it's two people working and leveling yeah. up to that moment that both of them could finish in the same time. So I look at it like that. But for me, I would say missionary. Isn't that one of the best feelings when you both like finish at the same time? You're just like wow. yeah, because one, <laughs> like, thing about, one thing about men is that they could mm -hmm. depends. The man could finish first, and the woman would not even get hers. So you can't really call that a good doggy style mm -hmm. or a good way that you're having sex when the yeah. other person is left out, and then they either need to rub it off <laughs> later <laughs> on or do something else. You know, like so. I feel yeah. like it depends getting both of them in the same climax yeah yeah i definitely agree with you um this is a question from r20 aka onion rings so would you rather be stuck in a death time loop or watch your friends be stuck in a hopeless death time loop mm. death time lap loop so it's it's like Either you be dying over and over and over or your friends. Um, um 
Because it's a loop, yeah. like it's death, but it's a loop, so you could you keep dying, but it's yeah, like you, a loop. Yeah, it keeps yeah. going back. That's so. what, yeah. I would say I'd rather see me, because I wouldn't even wish my own enemy being in a circumstance like that. So I would put myself without putting another person into that type of craziness. Yeah. I would put I would put gunfighter and red in there. <laughs> gunfighter. Yeah, I put gunfighter and red in there. Gunfighter. I would enjoy it. Oh god. Oh no. Okay. No. Okay. Um. Well, okay. So we are gonna move on now from the would you rather questions. Sh go away, gunfighter. Um. We're gonna move on to hypothetical scenario. Uh. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. So this is called Art Showdown. Uh, I wanted to bring this back oh. in because I know that there's a lot of art competition um, shows, which I do. It's crazy. It's crazy. But they're, they're, some of them are so cool. Um, so I was going to say, uh, let's say you're on a art competition show and I am the host. Um, so... What's going to happen is I'm going to give you a challenge and you also have to pick yeah. three other people to join you. They could be a celebrity. They could be somebody that died. Like it could be whoever you want who the other three contestants are. And those are yeah. also the people you're competing against. Um, the twist is here, though, is. Chat is going to do the vote, so chat's going to vote. Um, so I'm going to give you a challenge. And then, so based on that challenge, you're going to tell me what you, you're going to draw for that challenge. And you also have to tell me what the other three people would draw. And then that's when chat would come in and they're going to vote on which, which drawing would be the best. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what three people would you choose to compete with you in the art showdown? Hmm. Compete with me. Damn, that's mm -hmm. hard because I'm not trying to throw no one under the bus now that I want to. Uh, <laughs> it's it's going to look like, oh, you're picking me because you think you're yeah. me. But um, I don't know. Um, I don't know many people that do art, to be honest. But the people that I would love to give an opportunity because I think it was something that uh -huh. all of us will learn and see who wins. I think I'll pick Mon. Um, she's in my, she'll be one of the people. Chibiko is another streamer. She's not watching mm -hmm. this, but, and I will pick, I think Mommy the Best is another streamer. She does painting. So yeah, those are the three hey. people I could think out of my head. So we have Chibeko or Chibeka? Yeah, C-H-I-B-I-C-O. Okay, so Chebeko, and we have Mo. Did you say Mo? Uh, Mon. M A W N. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we also have Mommy the Best. Um, yes. Oh, it's not for me to choose, but or, or else I would choose um, Mushu <laughs> Persistent. She, um, that's somebody that I would recommend um, you guys to meet because Mushu also does artwork on her streams, and they're she actually does really art? good. Okay. Yeah, she does art. It's okay. really, it's, really, it's really cool. Yeah, and she's into anime. Um, I'll actually. Oh my god! Okay, that would be a combo. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to add you. What's her um? Oh shit! What did I do? Um, what's okay. her nickname? Um, I actually have her right. Twitch link in the chat. If you if you're able to click on it. All right, let me click it right now. Yeah, but she she plays. Okay. Uh huh. I was thinking, to be honest, I give her a follow. Um, I was thinking to do a tournament in the future with five hundred dollars or more on a tournament. I don't. I know that sounds crazy. Wow. But okay. When I when I won the uh, when I beat the tournament of Overwatch. Uh -huh. Um, there's no rewards, which is okay. I had fun wow. still, but I was thinking, man, if I could definitely mm -hmm. put something together with 500, 600, who wouldn't want to be in it, you know? So, but yeah, I would I'm definitely want to watch about that. her. Yeah, I would definitely want to watch her, um, her art. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely, yeah, um, definitely I'll let her know. 
but that's super cool especially when you do want to do something like that that's gonna be really awesome um yeah so okay so and we also have um mommy the best all right guys so remember you're keeping track of that remember you guys are voting so the first challenge is drawing something halloweenish or something scary what are you drawing Mm, I think I think I will go Freddy. I will draw Freddy Cougar. What would you so what would Freddy be doing? Oh, you want details like what he would be doing? Uh yeah, I'm very like I'm curious, yeah. Okay. Because the he's one of the main classics and Jason, obviously. Um the ones that are they're still remaking movies from yeah but i think freddy i will draw mm. him oh i have i have a crazy since i do art yeah. i think i will draw him in two different dimensions sip, so huh? even though i will have a person sleeping on the bed and there will be no dream world in his Ooh. own realm okay and whatever he's doing and panicking the person in the art style i will incorporate it showing a scene of how he's killing or butchering the person uh -huh. bit by pieces and in the when he the person is sleeping they're coming in between trances okay. you know uh, even though it sounds crazy but i will show his soul going back to his body and then his fingers are like floating or flying the fuck out <laughs> in the physical <laughs> realm and he's like okay. waking up and his eyes are sticking out uh -huh. and then i will draw him like again the soul so you have two drawings the soul going in and the soul coming out with two different colors blue coming back to the body and maybe a red coming back to the you know back it's like a loop uh -huh. while okay. they end up dying so i think i will do something like that okay so and you don't have to be too detailed with the other contestants but what do you think um chai chai beko yeah chai no chai Baku? no chai beko yeah yeah what do you think chai beko um mon and mommy the best what would those three draw i and think like I say, you don't have to be too specific think, with those yeah i think chai beko would do like the grudge um mm, she likes drawing okay. the grudge so i think she'll just draw like the grudge coming out from the tv in the middle of the night and just dragging someone back to the tv Okay. All right. It, so, what about Mon? Yeah. I think Mon. I I may have it wrong, but I think she would draw, um, the boogeyman. You know. Oh. And okay. Yeah, I think she would draw the boogeyman and just cut in someone's head off and just make it as a decorative pumpkin instead of actual pumpkin, but an actual. I think. Okay. I, okay. Yeah. What about Mommy yeah. the best? What would she draw? I think she will. She likes weird looking uh, things. Mm -hmm. So I think she will draw. What is. Oh man, I forgot that movie. Maybe you could remind me, Jenna. It's a mm -hmm. movie. The Leprechaun. Oh. You know how he looks so ugly for the face? Yeah. I think she will just draw the Leprechaun. I don't know if you've seen the movie. I, I, don't, I don't like that. Movie. <laughs> So I think she would draw the leprechaun and just start killing people and put them on the pot. Okay. We're going. All right. All right. So chat, we have those three answers. So chat, it's up to you. First, we're going to ask who, who is the loser? We need to know first who is the loser of this round. Okay. Our 20, I see. Okay. So they have boogeyman. Hold on. Yeah. Boogeyman. Let's see. Okay. Mommy. So you're saying Mommy the best is the loser. All right. We're going to wait a little bit longer and see what everybody else says. <laughs> um, hey, welcome in, Clam Slamma. I want to live. <laughs> you're like, you're like, come on, I want to win. <laughs> Mommy the best. Okay, so we have two for Mommy the best that's lost so yeah. far. 
I'm trying to see. I'm going to wait a little bit longer to see who lost. Did you just say, yeah, if we have one per one more person that says um, mommy the best, um, she's she's the loser. Yep. All right. So we got three people. Yeah, just say it up. Boom. All right. So who are we going to say is the winner of this round? Oh no, it's not posted, so no, I'm trying. <laughs> oh, damn it. The person that said the boogeyman. So the boogeyman was from Mon. That was from Mon. Okay, so we have one person for Mon, two people for Humble. If we get one more person for Humble, he's the winner of this round. Welcome in, Crow. How are you? you right now humble all right perfect so humble you're actually the winner of this round but because mommy the best Thank lost, you, <laughs> yeah. um, because mommy the best lost this round the loser has become colorblind forever oh that's right consequences all right I'm you ready lying. for this yep okay <laughs> so the next one is the second challenge is to draw something based off fantasy what are you drawing? Fantasy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would draw like a Tinkerbell character that okay. talks to the forest. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then what about Chibeko? Hmm. I think what is those talking trees? I forgot their names. Um, I don't know. It's like a tree that they talk to you, and then you bring them stuff. I forgot the actual. Word I don't know. Them. Chad, do you know but what I that is? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, um. Someone said it on the chat. Uh, trust it. Trust me, Zeno. It's not bad at first because I was the only first round. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> okay. So, so Chibeko is gonna talk about talking trees. You're gonna or draw about talking trees. You're gonna draw Tinko Tinker Bell. What is yeah. Mon? What is Mon gonna draw? <laughs> um, let me see. <laughs> I need to think because I I seen her art style. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay, that will be hard because there's so many things. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jazzle. I didn't know that to know. I. Yeah, you could give can can Mon give hints or no, or do I need to make them up? No, you have to wait. Is she, okay, is, are they in here? What no, 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 oh, no. I'm okay. just, all this time I've been just, yeah. Yeah, no, you uh, make it up. Make up what they're going to okay. do. I think, what is that? Man, I'm so bad with words. Like a, like a wizard. Those that, or, or a genie, you know, those genies. Oh, that you, like, okay, like into, Yeah, yeah, because it's all okay. spiritual stuff with genies. Oh, okay, I like that. I like that, actually. All right, mm -hmm. chat. Who is the loser of the second round? Is it Chibeko? <laughs> is it Humble or is it Mon? Remember, Chibeko is the one that draws talking trees. Or mm -hmm. Zeno said, I don't know. I heard, I miss uh, Yig's Drizzle. Yig's Drizzle. Or yeah, is that's it Humble? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, or Humble who draws Tinkerbell, or Mon who draws up a genie. <laughs> Okay, so the loser is the talking trees. All right, so if we get two more votes on the talking trees. Okay, so we, we do have one on Tribeco. If we get one more on Tribeco, they're going home. We have one for Mon. I can't believe you don't like uh, gypsies. Okay, okay, so we have... <laughs> okay, so Tribeco is going home. Um, yeah. Who is the winner of this round? Is it between um, Humble or Mon?
Humble. Okay, so we got one for humble. Two for humble. Oh, they're picking me. Thank you, Chad. Yeah. Okay, the one for I'm the D. To cash up some people today. <laughs> I'm not buying him. <laughs> if we get one more for humble, humble wins the round again. Yeah, humble wins. Uh, thank humble you. Wins. <laughs> All right. So since Tribeco lost, she loses one hand. Damn. So yeah, a she... blind person and one person with no hand. Well, well, one colorblind person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, colorblind. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now it's only down between humble and mon. And now we're into the final challenge. Okay. Ooh. So the final challenge is yeah. you have to draw Chapo and I. But how are you drawing us? <laughs> oh, I have I have a funny. I just came up with it. Okay. I think go, I will draw. <laughs> don't laugh, okay? okay? I think I will draw you with the horse face. You know how the horse face has the mouth and the teeth upwards on while you're streaming this guy i will have uh -huh. chapo in mid air with his paw about to smack the back of the back head of your horse mask and it will say on top like chapo be respected <laughs> <laughs> that's so mean that's so mean he's, he's back in the horse mask <laughs> Fine. What is what is Mon drawing? What is Mon drawing? Oh, I think she will draw Chapo taking over your room. So instead of you streaming, mm -hmm. you'll be walking out from the room and Chapo in the chair. That's funny. Okay, that that's cute. That's cute. Okay. All right, she's not guys. aggressive or violent, so yeah. <laughs> Um, Talon. Talon said, Mon is drawing Chapo dry humping Jenna's leg. God, what the <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I need to know who who is the loser of this. Well, no, who's the winner of this round? Is it Humble, who draws me wearing a horse mask with Chapo slapping me, saying respect Chapo in the back? Or is it Mon, who has Chapo taking over my stream? <laughs> <laughs> Mon win. Okay, so we have two for Mon. Oh, Wait, okay. okay. So we have two for Mon, one for Humble. If if Mon gets one more, she wins. If Humble gets two more, he wins. So let's see. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I don't know if I think. There's three for oh, there's three for Mon. Oh, okay. So I'm sorry, humble. I'm sorry. I lost Mon, Mon, Mon's the winner, and Mon gets one million dollars. And sadly, oh. you go, you go permanently blind. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. And and you lose both hands. Damn! I can't even. Draw <laughs> <laughs> Jang Yang, welcome. Hey. Nice, humble, got humbled. Nice meal. Yeah, got humbled. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for participating. That was actually a lot of fun. Um, I think our longest chapel takes over the street. I will keep my yeah. <laughs> sacrifice my arms. Mm. Oh, God. Um, Rain basically said you have to learn to draw with your feet. <laughs> that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Um. So, oh, chat, just so you guys know, we are coming close to an end. Um, there are a couple more questions that I have for Humble, but please, if you guys have any more questions, um, please don't be afraid to ask now. We are heading into a different topic, and thank you all for participating. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. It's seriously so much fun. Um, but, are you, but, Humble, are you ready for the big debate? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. All right, so here's the big debate. Um, and I'm not saying I agree with this, but this is the statement. Video okay. games make people violent. Do you agree or disagree? Okay. 
And is this going to be like something back and forward? We're going to have a um, talk? Yeah, or like, just yes or no? Okay. Yeah, so, no, I just want to talk about it. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm happy with this. So yeah. I will say yes. Because oh, okay. there have been cases that, um, I don't know if you heard about this. It's an actual, like, it went to the news. Uh-huh. When the Joker, the actor that died, I forgot his name. There was a guy that actually, yeah, an actual mm-hmm. real guy watched that movie and literally started assassinating and killing people and actually painted his face as the Joker. Yeah. And he was, I don't know what happened to him, but he was in the news when the movie was out in that time. So I do mm-hmm. agree that that will influence people to do crazy stuff like that. So... Uh, I feel like this one's hard for me. This one can be very difficult. I feel like... Uh, I, so I'm going to disagree with you a little bit. A little bit. I'm going to disagree a little bit. Um, I, I feel like people are in charge of their own actions. And so to blame something else for doing something that they did and not taking um, ownership of what they did um, I find that to be bullshit because it's like you chose to do that. Movies and games don't tell you to go and do that. Um, I feel like games are really for more. I feel like games are really for exploring like fantasies and kind of exploring things that we can't do in real life, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. R.I.P. Heath Ledger chat. R.I.P. Heath Ledger. Um, <laughs> yes, R.I.P. So... But it is hard because it's kind of like what you just said, that guy copied based off a movie scene. And there's people that like um, the other, it wasn't the other day, this maybe was a month ago, but I know in GTA, you can run over people, right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There is these two teenagers that were just running over people on bikes. Oh, I seen that one. Is it a guy, right? It's a guy. Yeah, were, it's an yeah, old guy. But before him, they had run over two other people. Oh, and wow. so I didn't have that. And so I don't know. Um, um, but I. So it's like, I don't know. It's it is. I feel like that one can be difficult. But I do feel like, I do feel like they can't be blamed. I feel like people need to take ownership that they went to go do that. Just because something was shown to you doesn't mean that, you you know, it gives like, I don't know how to explain it, but what no, no, I, get, said, I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. But what R20 said, if a video game influences someone to do something, they already wanted to do it, which I do kind of agree. I feel like there are just some people that are just sick individuals that, that just kind of, it's almost like, I feel like, I don't know, like, I want to like, this well, it's both want... sides. It's both uh-huh. sides because you have the law, the publishers, even with movies uh-huh. or or games specifically. The same thing as Rockstar with Red Dead Redemption. There yeah. was a big yeah. boycott of people because there was a woman in mm-hmm. Red Dead Redemption in the village yeah. that she had like a woman's um, freedom of speech and okay. a bunch of people players because they have the developers allowed you to punch to rope so a guy punched that lady and uploaded it so a good amount of people got upset about that now even Mm -hmm. though they boycott red dead redemption Mm -hmm. it's still something a behavior that is because they're putting all obviously a lady with free speech yeah. knowing that you have you could punch people you could rope them you could do all yeah. that so it's like it's not too much about the person that they could own up to it and not blame the industry of the games but in the same time it's like little it's baiting people to do it and so it is an influence in a way maybe it's, yeah. uh, i'm thinking you're talking about the people who have a strong mentality that then they don't let in um, the environment and mm-hmm. they don't let their intrusive thoughts tell them instead they yeah. choose what yeah. they want to do i think that's what you're trying to there's two different groups i'm talking mm-hmm. about just in general the ones that do get influenced like that no so. I, yeah i definitely understand what you're saying um but like kind of what red had said a little bit in chat 
was that um, mental illnesses mostly cause the things that people do. Because um, I used to take a couple like psychology courses. And yeah. there's there's been times where somebody had a brain tumor and mm -hmm. just went on a killing spree. And it was like a massive brain tumor or somebody that was just had schizophrenia um, yeah. or just like any like or a psychopath, you know, <laughs> they talk about psychopaths. And when I think of psychopaths, I always think of that one movie with, um, you know what it's called? That's Christian Bale in it. American Psycho. Is that what that's called? American Psycho. Oh, you're talking about uh, American um, horror Isn't stories it? or something like that? It's no, like, I oh, think no. it's called. No, it has Christian Bale, and he just like kills. He's like a psycho that just like kills people like randomly, and he like I don't know. It's like fucked up, but. But with no. the guy brain tumor was yeah. it was there history of stuff with either abuse of drugs mm -hmm. or it was just the brain tumor alone that it was a cause of all that. Yeah. Because if, if you tell me that he didn't have never a history mm -hmm. of nothing else, then I'll go what you said, you know? Yeah. I'll I'll be okay, I could see it like that. You know uh, I'm trying or oh, I'm trying to think. Um oh or that famous WWE um person. He was a guy. I can't remember his name. But he he was a WWE wrestler. He was very famous. Um, he he got fucked up a lot. And I think he had a brain tumor, didn't he? And he ended up killing uh, his wife and kids because of it. Like he had very like serious inju injuries or whatever. But they were saying like before that he was a very chill guy. And then I think he yeah. actually ended up killing himself at the end. I think I, sure. I think I know who you're talking about. Does I can't the cat remember know? his name. Chad, do you know who I'm talking about? He was a very famous WWE wrestler. And I remember Was he like he... a um because I did hear in WWE that there was a guy, but they said that he was abusing substance for his physique oh. and that's where the anger management would come in and he did kill but mm -hmm. I don't know about the brain injuries part. I'm not aware of yeah. that, so I can't really. Oh. But, um, yeah. No, but even Persistence said that there's a lot of football players that kill themselves and others because of um, CTE. Yep, that's who I'm talking about. Chris Bonnet. There you go, R20. That's the guy I'm talking oh, about. Oh, okay, Chris. But, um, but no, what, I, what I'm trying to say is, like, um, Red, I think Red brought up a good point is that sometimes I think there's a lot of other factors that get people to do what they do. Um, especially I know Zeno, you brought up about kids um growing up in their certain environments. Cause I know yeah. there have been studies like on that. And if you look at like most serial killers, typically their mom was like a prostitute, their dad was oh, like, yeah. very drunk and they just like came but not all of them. There's been some serial killers that came from like very like good homes. So oh yeah, yeah, like, and loving families or parents, and they still go. Left. Yeah. Yeah. So it's such a it's such a very I feel like for well for me at least on my perspective because I don't know so much on it. Me, it'd be very hard to give my opinion, like my full opinion. But I would have to say with like video games making people violent, um, I would have to say I do. Part of me yeah, does disagree with that. I think I think people just have to they choose to go and do that. You know, they don't have to do that. They just choose to do yeah. it. And they're gonna blame it on the games, they're gonna blame it on the movies. But I mean at the end of the day, they're the ones that chose to go and buy a gun or go steal a gun. They're the ones that chose yeah. to drive to the mall to go kill like ten people. So it's it's very it's very tricky. To it, it, yeah. Oh, Chapo is in the background, but yeah, I do agree with that. In the same time, it just depends on the topic and the circumstance. Yeah. Because I, even though with having this conversation, I'm not just picking sides. Uh -huh. Like, let's say there's a yeah, Chapo liquor. <laughs> um, I think, I think that, like for example, you see these young gamers on uh -huh. stream, and they're yelling at their mom. 
you know mm -hmm. they're screaming they're really like you see they're saying some disrespectful stuff now yeah. if you if we want to say quote unquote that nothing really influenced you it was just a person's choice not to influence mm -hmm. if me and you go to a concert right mm -hmm. and let's say everyone is shouting and just you know drinking and that influence environment impacts yeah. a certain degree of your state of your characteristic that you build up let's say you calm yeah it will crush that to the point because it's influence you can't you have no self-control with it it's the same as sex you see a guy with no shirt or a celebrity that type of influence even if it's not verbal or mm -hmm. if he walks up to you it will influence your way of thinking and you will just go with it that's why there have been studies that they have been okay with music i don't know mm -hmm. if you do this there is certain frequencies that a lot of artists put it to the music to actually like even though the listeners don't know this they're really being um psychologically fucked in the head to mm -hmm. manipulate that type of vibration just yeah. for them to keep listening listening and, and just or they could get you in a point from happy state and then one so song freaking depression sadness and you can't even get out of it so mm -hmm. it all depends but i still agree with the influence because everything mm -hmm. has influence or a substance of something like someone could come and kill another person's family member and it's the mm -hmm. same thing some people can like there is a man that he was the nicest person and a guy mm -hmm. raped his son his 12 year old uh -huh. you know yeah that influence really and he beat the heck out, he got like arrested but i'm just saying oh, wow. that in, there is a such thing as influence um as much as we want to say no <laughs> there is yeah um, yeah so it, it goes both ways i do look at it in a psychological way because I know you said that it's not the influence the water mm -hmm. is game, which luckily there are times that they will not lock up those people. They will put them into a you know institution for them to get fixed up, or they want to harm themselves. So it yeah. goes both ways. Yeah. Yeah. No, I definitely agree. But um, something that persistent said right now is your environment does play a factor. It doesn't mean you have to get sucked in though, and that is something that I agree with. Um. Because, like, personally for me, um, like, my dad's side, they're not really good people at all. Um, oh, really? Oh. Yeah, they're, like, they lie, they steal. Um, they're very, they're just very selfish, um, very just, they're just not good people. And I grew up yeah. around that a lot. And uh, I, it honestly, for me, being in that environment and being around people that stole and just, like, lied and, and did mm -hmm. these, like, things... Um, it didn't I did, honestly like growing up it really didn't make me want to be that way um and if anything it really pushed me away from my dad yeah. and from that side of the family um yeah just because i was like uh, nope yeah you know what i mean um because i do feel like yeah. i think it just uh, it does depend on the person i think um, it does yeah if you have somebody that that is in a really fucked up situation in a bad environment and they and they continuously grow like they're growing up in that environment some people grow up to be fucking amazing lawyers actors um they do something big or but then you do have some other people that end up going down the same road and doing what their parents did or what their okay. grandparents did before them so i think um yeah this is the class but, but <laughs> uh -huh. what is like mom said she said i grew up with people like that in my family because that just doesn't feel well which yeah I, okay so if it's just for gaming aspects mm -hmm. influences because yeah. if your parents weren't really gamers then mm -hmm. i will agree with you because that's something that you personally it wasn't really yeah. gaming. them being in gaming that influenced mm -hmm. them and you chose i have the similar I agree. Everything. I don't have nothing yeah. to say with that. I just uh -huh. it because mm -hmm. stepping away from gaming, I did also have my family side. Um, yeah. They were go They like to gossip. They like to backstab. Mm -hmm. They like to. Um, even if you do a good deed, they will talk shit yeah. to you. 
So yeah. me myself, and then my my whole family drinks, smokes, huh. game bang, in and out of jail. I oh, grew in that yeah. type of harsh environment. Even mm-hmm. my grandma didn't want me to have nothing. So even if my dad wanted to buy me something, she would say no. She would try to. Yeah. to see. So she was creating this environment of no love, no appreciation, no self development as yeah. myself. But just because I was in that environment, I'm just like you. I didn't want it to be nothing like that. I don't yeah. want to repeat the generations that yeah. was before me. So I, as a 15 year old, 14 year old, I told him in their face that I want to, I forgive you guys. I don't want to hold grudges. Yeah. Forgive me if I did. Even because that's what I told you last time. A humble person, a real humble person will humble themselves, even if they're in the right. Mm -hmm. That's the real definition of humbleness. So me living up to that, I do have similar ways that you think because I think the same way. So that's why I'm the opposite. That's why I don't even gossip. You know, I don't. Yeah. No, I get what you mean. Um, but yeah, like just going back with like the video game and everything like with yeah. that, it's just um that is what I'm trying to say. It's kinda like what Persistence said. Um just because something that was there doesn't mean um, you know, like you have to go and yeah. especially in the in the environment. But I think just with it it just does depend on what kind of person you are and Yeah, because you, you could know. have people like you and me, but Another person will be fuck it. I might just be a savage, like yeah, like like I'm gonna fuck up this person. Like I don't <laughs> yeah. care. Like like I'm gonna fuck them up. They weren't doing anything. They just had yeah. the wrong face. Like <laughs> you're just like what? I'm gonna go to the club, hit all these bitches with this ball. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like you're just yeah. like what? Like why? Um, but yeah, no. So that was that was a really good conversation. Thank you, humble um chat. Just so you guys know, we are coming to an end um, very soon. I have a couple questions. Tino, welcome in. How are you? Happy Friday. So if anybody has any questions for for Humble or for me, um, let me know now before we hit to the end. Um, but Humble, while we wait for those questions, um, what's one question you wish I would have asked and how would you have answered it? Something that you haven't asked? Um mm-hmm. Okay, I think because when I heard you tell me not attacking you, you know, okay, um, okay, I remember when I told you, oh, I'm a nice dude, this and that, and you're like, oh, I just want to make sure that don't tell me right away that I'm this because yeah. you might find out later in my community that I'm kind of like you know flirty uh-huh. or you say certain topics. So okay. I think I think I would love us to fix that area within yourself um, as two people to talk about it, you know, because I feel that it's good to have someone to help you in that area, you know, Um, because what I say is don't hurt me in in a way, you know, Uh because you you, what I'm saying is that when you tell me that type of stuff, I take it as like, oh, who hurts you, you know, because you get what I'm saying in that that level, because you told me like, oh, you may think I'm crazy or you might think I'm this uh-huh. later on, you know, but yeah. that all comes down to there was something that happened in the past or in the present that uh-huh. that hadn't been healed up. So I would have loved to have a conversation like oh. maybe like, have you ever experienced or whatever it is? Have you uh-huh. ever come across this? And what will you recommend me doing or uh-huh. equipping myself based on your experiences in life? If you do have any, what will you say? Uh-huh. And I think that will be an amazing conversation between me okay. and you to talk about, because not only that would we'll build a connection of trust as streamers, obviously, yeah. if I'm going to be in your community, I think instead of just brushing that and be like, Oh, mm-hmm. well, don't tell me right away what you think about me, you know, let, yeah. uh, let, it's almost like, I want to see you later on, see the full, yeah. For myself and then you tell mm-hmm. me but i'm more like no 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 no. let's backtrack and let's yeah let's just talk in a good matter and you express how you want to express and we just... talk and we just exchange conversations oh i think so, that would be amazing no no i definitely get what you mean um so something with me and 
and something that I'm trying to learn is not to rush into um, rush into like relationships with people. And when I say relationships, I don't mean like just dating. I'm talking about like friend friendships, um, you know, like stuff like that. And like for me, my problem is I always rush really fast with people. And I'm just like, oh, my God, this person is so amazing. This person, like, I love them. They're the best. Like, like, I don't see anything going wrong. And then like a month or two later, they start to show me like their true colors. And they they just start to show me like, OK, maybe they're not the best people. And I've had people hurt me in the past. Um, oh, okay. I've had. Yeah, I've had people like try. I've had people try to use stuff against me. I've had I've had somebody try to use where um what state I live live in against me um wow. because okay. because before I didn't want people to know what state I lived in and I had told them and because they got upset with me they actually went into chat and was saying like oh she's from here and like blah 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 like everything that I okay. told them they were trying to like drop it in there or and they even like even made up lies saying things that i did that i didn't do and so like for me that is why i have a hard time hey sh 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 um hold on sorry Great job, bro. <laughs> mm, uh no it's because they're both down here um that's why um that's why like for me like you said though like don't don't just say right away like oh hey i'm cool like let's just wait you know what i mean yeah yeah, and I'm the opposite from you. It's like really? I'm I'm definitely the opposite because uh -huh. I have people like that in my life. For the same thing. Chopper wants a hug. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, oh, Chopper wants Wait, a hug. On. Wait, stop. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Stop. Okay. Chopper there. loves you. No, I have another dog. Yeah, they're just they're trying to play right now. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, it's okay. No, don't say sorry. <laughs> no, but no, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. Please but <laughs> no, I love seeing chapel. No, I'm saying like, um, I'm the opposite from you. I uh -huh. do agree. I've been in the same boat as you. I have people. Um, I'm really overprotective with my circle of people. And yeah. I don't mention my brother. Even my sister, I love them. Yeah, I care about them. I will do anything. Even my best friend, I love them so much, but I will not show them in streams. Or let's yeah. say me and you are talking. Mm -hmm. It, it's not that I'm guarded, but I will not allow you right away to just oh meet my yeah. brother, meet my sister, meet yeah. being the same even Discord because if you already establish a certain group that you guys talk about like real yeah. life stuff outside of streaming then i be i'm the opposite you're more like later on let me see how you move yeah don't tell me nothing. i don't want to i don't want my ears tickled in my area i want to one-on-one -on -one talk no yeah. establishing no saying like oh we besties with this or yeah. we're good friends in that process, I want to start seeing the red flags and the green flags and start seeing the because I'm really good at deception. I'm able to see if they are bad mm -hmm. apples or good apples, you know, so I get to see the real self of a person. And I think when I that's why when I tell you oh, I'm nice mm -hmm. for me is even though you have your own standards of going about things. Yeah, I really look up for my image and I tell my stream like and I tell people I'm nice. I'm respectful. Uh -huh. I don't just tell you I'm going to follow you and I'm going to support you. A lot of people say that, but they don't be in the streams texting you. They will yeah. not say like, hey, best friend, my best friend. Yeah. But uh, people will not show that side. And then they will just give you into a climax that is not that. So I feel like for me, I like to have one on one conversations because that's where you will yeah. be her true colors and so, i'm happy to even my best friend she was like uh -huh. when i met her i told her i'm not leaving your side we're just best mm -hmm. friends that's it mm -hmm. and overall it's been more it's been more than seven years the same never changed yeah. you know yeah no so i would so i would agree with you i do think conversations do help um showing sometimes like red flags or just something that you're just like oh okay like i'm not 
I'm not okay with that and how what this person's doing, but that's just my own thing. I do agree with that. Like I don't totally shut off from people. Like I'll have conversations. It's just that um I just won't believe what they're saying because I've been told a lot of things before. I've been told, yeah. don't worry, like, don't worry, Jenna. I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to be oh, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. did that, you know, like, I'm this, I'm that. Like, I, I, I own up to my words. Like, I don't let anybody down. I do as I say. Yeah. And then, like, the next day or a week later, they're doing the exact opposite of what, like, who they said they were. And so it's like, yeah. it's like... <laughs> so that's why like that's why like i do agree with you on conversations i do think it's good to have conversations because because yeah. it's easy for people to talk but when it's time it's it's when you start to realize who they are when it's time to come down to the actions and so yeah i do agree with and, you. I, res I, and, I, and I respect the way that you move also because end of the day no one is gonna take care of your heart like you would you know yeah you may have people that will I know Gunny will talk to you about like stuff and be like, you know what, girl, like, you know. <laughs> All right. Girlfriend is like, saying, Bitch. like <laughs> Yeah, I know, we're in her own like, face, but yeah. I'm just saying like I love a challenge and I love cause end of the day is like many men and women, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They have trash the image mm -hmm. of a person that is withholding a good image. Truthful yeah. And genuinely. But I'm not going to blame them and be like, you motherfuckers made it hard for me. Yeah. I have people in my life that have been really uh -huh. guarded. They didn't want me to talk to me. They thought that I was going to be just like everyone else whispering to your ears, doing this. Yeah. Stuff. And for me, it's like, I'm happy I went through the process of the pain. So mm -hmm. I could love and support and be there for people who are in pain. And and that's why I tell you, like, I told Risky the same thing, you yeah. know, I've been watching his streams and I never switched up on him, you know, but that's I think yeah. that's the most beautiful thing that eventually once you see the true colors of someone, yeah. you would be like, damn, like, I'm like, Oof. like, at least this person, I don't need to keep my my signal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah um no and something that i would like to add in there though is that i don't necessarily shut off from everybody i do try to give people chances um mm -hmm. something that you said a little bit ago like i'm not gonna blame this person because i for who i am now um i agree with that 100 percent um i've had people i've had some really bad people in my life that have done some terrible things but i yeah. but being in those situations i've told myself you know what like I'm not going to let these people change who I am. I'm not going to, yeah. I'm not going to give them that power. That's like, Oh, like they did, that this to me. Yeah. they did this to me. So now I'm going to go and fuck up this other person just because they did that, did that to me. Like, no, I'm always going to stay yeah. me. I'm always going to stay like, you know, like I'm just going to stay who I am. I'm never, I'm never going to yeah. give anybody that they did. I do this now because they did that. Like, no, mm i'm not about that <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah I, I love that um and i do appreciate even though we're talking i do appreciate your honesty because even for myself accepting to be in this platform yeah thank you again and your chat <laughs> is that i may i'm able to get to know people who they really are instead of yeah. running towards it. because i do watch a lot of podcasts i do watch a lot of interviews and I always see that one of the interviews, they uh -huh. have, they're not really there to talk to the person. They're only there to nitpick and fuck up their image. And they're not even oh. there genuinely to listen. And for me, it's like when I join, I'm like, I know we're able to get to know one another yeah. and establish at least like something that, okay, I know this about Humble, this, 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 that. Yeah. I know then about this, 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 that. So I think that's the most amazing thing being part of this because I'm able to see how you look at things or think about certain things yeah and for me myself it's like even my best friend i will even tell her like if i don't eat i'm grumpy but just because yeah. i'm grumpy <laughs> i will let her know okay i'm grumpy let me call you yeah. later. let me eat or let me get some rest but other people will not they will not evaluate themselves or reflect and they will just think yeah. oh it's just you let me just pick on you let me just say yeah, yeah. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. You know. Yeah. And I think that I'm not perfect. Like I tell you, um, as your chat knows, 
and hopefully they could get to know me more. I'm not perfect end of the day, but yeah. I will submit and listen to advice. And mm -hmm. if someone is hurt or not hurt, I will stick around and just open hands. If they need yeah. help, they need advice. I love being there for people. So, yeah. See, and, and I love that and I respect that. Um, that's something that I find to be rare. Um, because not a lot of people are very open to hear others' opinions. Um, most of the time, if somebody has a different opinion versus the other one, one of those people get upset. And yeah. they're just like, no, 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 no. Like, I'm right. My opinion's right. I'm correct. You're wrong. But I love the fact, like, having you on here that I can, like, talk to you and you you give me the com comfort ability Com yeah comfort build i can't say it, but you give me comfort into where like okay like i can be very open with you i can be honest because i know yeah. you're not gonna judge me that you're willing to hear my point of view and you're not gonna yeah. tell me that i'm wrong and i love i love some of the things that you said you were just like okay you you were just like like i hear you i understood this is what you said but this is my point. This is how I feel. But um, I I don't totally disagree with you. I find I find us to be almost mutual. But yeah, like I like that. Like I really yeah. that was really. So, I find that really rare. Yeah. And also, I have a lot of people that drink, they smoke, they go parties, yeah. they go clubbing. I don't do uh -huh. none of those things. But it doesn't mean that I'm gonna bash you. Like why you smoke? Yeah. Why are you drink? Why? Yeah. But if it gets to a point that I see that your healthness, your health, or your mental state is getting your, they like it's getting to the point that it's obstructing even our connection, then I would just simply say like, you know what? I think you should just lay off a little bit, you know, or you should definitely just um, take care of yourself. Like I would just suggest. And I will tell them, take it or leave it. You can take my advice or you shouldn't take my advice. Yeah, no. I, yeah, I like that because you're like, you're kind of like, you know what? I did what I could do. And, yeah. and I'm going to walk away knowing that I feel like I did it. I, I did. I tried my best. So I like that. Um, yeah. Hold on, Humble. Give me one second. Shh, shh, shh. Hey. Hey. All right. Yeah. yeah, you get your dogs. It's okay. Sorry. I'll keep you. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh. It's okay. No, okay, hold on. Go upstairs. Go. Shh, go. Go upstairs. Go. Ariel, go. You stay here. <laughs> Trouble, you stay here. <laughs> Back your belts now, gunfighter. Okay, sorry. I'm so sorry. Usually, the older one I leave upstairs so they don't do this. Um. No, it's okay. Hold on, you repeat it. Okay, Red. Red, thank you for that um, advice on whatever that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. That's okay. Oh, anyways. Um, no, but I apologize again for the dogs. Um, no, that's okay. But thank you. Thank you, Humble. I, this was a really great conversation and I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah. I actually, I really enjoy deep conversations. I've come to realize. So, thank you, thank you for this conversation. Yeah. And no, I appreciate it too. Like you didn't need to. I was like me out of all people. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, let me get ready. Let me do my shirt <laughs> here. Let me dress of up. Of course. You know? Yeah. I. I don't know. Like so, would I? I'm be honest. Like would I do interviews. Um, I always just want to choose people that I know that I can actually vibe with that are chill yeah. that aren't, you know, like, it's not going to be like completely like awkward. awkward. <laughs> or yeah. yeah. And so, um, knowing like the little time that I've gotten to know you, like you, like, like, like the first time that I met you in risky stream, like we had a deep conversation. We had a deep conversation on, on red flags on relationships yeah. and and so like from that point on i was like okay i was like i was like that's what like that's what's up like this guy's very chill he's very obviously like he's very open he's willing to have a discussion and so 
I like that. So no, so thank you for being on here. You have no idea how much I appreciate no, it. Yeah, no, I appreciate you and your chat. Like I said, mm -hmm. like there's days that I'm doing stream and then I see your mm -hmm. viewers someone come in yeah. and I'm like, okay, I appreciate it. Like even though I'm small, but I will definitely, you know, like help your stream or yourself. So I was yeah. telling my friends like, oh my god, this Jenna rated me. What's well, obviously <laughs> have i give yeah. them praises and for me i see everyone as family like yeah. i see my main group as my priority family but with mm -hmm. twitch it's like i'm finding and picking people i'm like okay this person is cool i like this person and even mm -hmm. if they're moving differently than i do i still respect their life choices so yeah. i'll keep them up and you know be there for them but i do love our car you know me yeah even if i ask you right now is there something different from my deep conversations till now no you'll see the same you know connections yeah. so that'll be a yeah. good thing overview yeah yeah and well you show it and like i said i was talking about actions earlier and you're showing it with your actions like you're you're still showing me that you are this person that you say you are like you're willing to have to be open to be honest and to tell me if you disagree or agree with me without getting upset. So like, that's, you know, like, like I said, that's rare. <laughs> no, I know. That's why I don't talk mm -hmm. to certain people because certain people, I understand they have their viewpoint, uh -huh. but they, I feel like I tell people, are you talking to me to talk to me and get to understand how I go about, even though you disagree. Yeah. Some people uh -huh. like, don't tell me how I need to go about shit, you know? Like, I had oh. someone on the stream tell me, like, Humble, you shouldn't be telling people about, um, like, oh, they should mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's You guys are, you guys are characterizing someone that I'm not. Like, yeah. and I was talking to someone about habits. Uh -huh. I was telling someone that, let's say, like, because I don't agree with astrology, right? And mm -hmm. this is my viewpoint. It's not even a debate. It's not about beliefs, culture. It's something about that people establish habits, but they don't see the cons and the negatives or the yeah. positives. For me, I see like, okay, when they say, oh, a Capricorn or a Cancer, and they have these characteristics, then they're like, oh, mm -hmm. I don't fuck with you because you're a Cancer. And in my uh, eyes, I'm, yeah. like, in my <laughs> eyes, I'm like, so you have this person that has their own mindset, their own life uh, choices they build up their character or if they did or not i'm just saying or let me put me as an example of everything i've been through life pains my passions mm -hmm. my groin my equipping myself and you're gonna just tell me that like, oh fuck you because you you know yeah you're this or you're that and i don't agree with that and then because they have that mindset, they don't understand uh -huh. that they say like, oh, well, don't talk and don't say this, don't say that. They don't know that that habit is activated in their speech and they don't even catch it. They just like mm. created this visionary character that you didn't even spend 10 or five or one year tackling subjects to get down who I am as a guy, you know? No, oh, I get what you mean. I definitely yeah. do it. I definitely do get what you mean, especially with that. <laughs> I, yeah. I do agree um chat we are coming to an end uh, please make sure to thank humble for being here tonight being with us you have no idea how much i appreciate it and i know chat appreciates it and i know chat yeah. also appreciates you being a part of the community because i know there's a couple people they enjoy your artwork that you drop and the server so thank thank you like thank you for giving that to us seriously yeah um, but humble before you go, please let the viewers know where they can find you and your content and what you are working on now. Okay. Well, right now I'm working on the drawing that Jenna showed. I'm doing, it's going to take me even next week, but mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing gym streams here and there, not as often, but definitely art and, yeah. um, game. But you could only my only socials that I have is just Twitch. You guys could just follow me if you guys want to. If you guys need to talk to, you know, you need someone to talk to, I will even stop my gaming to talk to you. Like that's the type of mm -hmm. uh, and and hold me with that. Just be like when they just join, be like I need someone to talk to, and I will stop my stream. Yeah. Even risky, I even told Jenna. Even risky mm -hmm. came 
in the middle of me doing art for so many hours can you do me a logo i put yeah. everything i got you you know you're being so nice yeah. to me. you shout me out i got you so i would definitely talk to you and i say just come in i'm a big communicator so talk to me mm-hmm. you have a hard time communicating just talk to me but you guys can follow me on twitch that's the only area i don't have instagram i don't have facebook i rather meet people in face to face instead of yeah. pictures and other platforms i do just so you guys know i do have humble's twitch link um pinned up top so please don't be afraid to give him a follow please don't be afraid to stop in to his streams and just say hello and get to know him a little bit more um he does have badass art from some what you've seen so far in this stream but um but alrighty humble thank you for being right. here with us thank I you, you Jenna. i hope you have thank an you, amazing Dad. weekend <laughs> i know i will try i appreciate everyone thank you with we the love appreciate and you uh, all right, please Jenna. put a w in the chat guys <laughs> Alrighty. Bye, Humble. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Um mm. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Whatever. No, Jesus gunfighter. Okay. Um Alrighty, guys, I'm going to be heading out. Happy Friday. I appreciate you all. Thank you, Zeno. Thank you all. Seriously, thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you all for participating in the art showdown activity that we did with Humble. Um, Please, like I said, I have Humble's link up top, so don't be afraid to check him out. He does such badass art. Um, He also, oh, Jesus. Uh, (laughs) Okay, is this a competition? Good night. Good night, Ryan. Have a good rest of your night. Jesus. Talon, gunfighter, what the hell? Um, okay, we're getting spammed. Um, no, but seriously, PP way, Pepe way. Okay, oh god. Um, anyways, um, real quick, just a reminder, um, next week is gonna be a full week, but a week after that is gonna be Thanksgiving and Black Friday, which I'll be taking those two days off. But that Wednesday, November 22nd, I would love to do a community activity. If you guys would like to participate, just go into the server, hit um, go into events and just put a red heart on there. So I know that you're participating that day and we are going to do it 8 p.m. CST and it is on a Wednesday, November 22nd. But I'm going to be heading out, guys. I hope you all have a good, amazing weekend. You guys could have been anywhere else, seriously, anywhere else. But you chose to be here with me tonight and humble and the community to hang out with us. And you have no idea how much I appreciate that seriously um i can't wait to see you guys next week and thank you again for being here also we just hit 50 subs on youtube so that's amazing um very close very close to 100 now halfway to 100 so um very that's exciting (laughs) alrighty guys until next time i love you cock Give me a drink, bartender. Take a sip, bitches.